party members and you start thinking like oh maybe this is who i'm gonna play through the game with and then they just kill all of them it's just like wow they died how sad and then you're left on your own again like we had that group from the great wardens and i was like oh maybe this is our full party that we're gonna have and we can kind of swap people out throughout the game i'm okay with this and then they all died and then there was that group of soldiers that was fighting with us they all died so i think unless the game decides to murder either of these two fine people they're gonna stay with us for a while the game is a killer gm basically when it suits the game the game will kill all of your friends there's been a lot of death so far just a, a lot of death but here we are with waifu also known as morrigan and alistair as well and in case you guys missed it we have a new addition to the group and this is Borkspawn. It's a great pun. It's, it's an amazing pun. Chat came up with the pun. I blame chat. The misty mountains cool. Mouse is back. Back again for 11 months of immortality. I had the pleasure of meeting a Miss Mousy over at Twitch London as well. And it was an honor to make your acquaintance. Welcome back. Almost at the year mark as well. Almost an entire year of wisdom. Coming in some love and hype in this chat for our returning wits. Welcome back. It flames spread. Trees like torches blazed with lights. Welcome back. Do let me know what colour wisp that is this month and I will cast you as I think the first wisp on the game screen as well. It was good to meet you at Twitch London. Thank you for going to say hi. I'm really shy at events, so I'm always glad when people come and introduce themselves. Otherwise, I'm just like, oh, I think I know them, but I'm not sure. I'm just kind of stand there being awkward. It's my only talent. So this is Borkspawn. And now uh, he is now our dogger and he is loyal to me. And it seems like Borkspawn likes me quite a lot. He has agreed with my decisions so far. He wags his tail happily. Can you do something about this gory mess? Oh yeah, if you've killed mobs and you need it cleaned up, you can ask him just to eat their corpses. Which isn't concerning at all. Good doggo. There's pet bork spawn. Good doggo. Good doggo. You shall well behaved. You shall cute. Go and eat some corpses for me. Go on. Go on. Eat some corpses for me. Good boy. Yeah, chew their bones. So yeah, all those bandits we just killed. Bork just went and uh, chewed up their remains. I think he rather enjoyed it as well. So yeah. Oh, end of stream last time. I was about to end and then the whole of chat was like, Dawn, you didn't open the boxes behind you. you didn't open the boxes. But my inventory is full. I can't do that yet. My inventory is indeed full. I cannot pick up anything else. I have so much crap in here. I've got my wedding clothes from the original cutscene as well that I haven't got rid of. A variety of bows that I don't need and I just took to sell. Um, but yeah. I can't pick any of this up right now. Lovely. Lovely. I think, I think honestly our party has better gear right now so I'm not even that bothered. Like uh, this, this guy here. He's got some very good gear on him at the moment. Yeah, Alistair's got like the splint mail gloves. The grey iron. I think he, has he not got the helmet? Oh, maybe that helmet is worth picking up. I don't think he's even wearing a helmet. I don't think there's any penalty to wearing a helmet, so I might pick it up. Eh. Which one of these has the lowest penetration? I think they're all identical pretty much. I'm just gonna destroy a longbow. You go get yourself a helmet, Done. Alistair. You deserve it. You deserve it. And I guess I'll see if he can wear it. Oh, looking even sexier now in that helmet. Boy. I love the way he stands. He's like... Just regarding everything with that pouty smile. I love you, Alistair. See, I thought he was the Hispando, but I think now I'm going to have a waifu. Because we met this lady. Now there's no going back. There's no going back. Just going to say you likely wouldn't have remembered to loot that chest today. So yay for me telling you to loot it the other day. <laughs> we looted it and then we couldn't pick it up. I remembered when I booted in like, I don't have inventory space. This, 
There's no way I'm going to be able to loot this. Hi, Phaser. I'm doing good, thanks. How are you? Full bags. Very unlike me. Very, very unlike me. I'm always, like, really rigid about inventory management, as you guys know. And uh, I would... I would never have a full inventory. Sacrilege. I would never. I have so many conflicts with Morrigan. I couldn't wife her. Well, because she disagreed with your decisions that you made, there is this whole aspect of whenever you make a decision, members of your party will either support you and be like, yeah, that was the right thing to do. Or they all grumble about it and be like, hmm, it's a rubbish, rubbish decision. What, why did you do that for? And their reputation with you will go down. So I need to be careful that we always take decisions that Morrigan agrees with. Of course, we need Morrigan to love us. You must clear your inventory before venturing forth. That reminds me of, um, Pillars of Eternity. Hello, peasant man. Need something? All right. I don't generally talk to strange elves who wander in here. I'm not just an elf. I'm a Grey Warden. You have something against elves, mate? I think I'm going to ask him if he has something against elves first, and then if he says he does, I'll be like, I'm a Grey Warden, bitch. I don't know Cut you. Cut off your Why tongue. Why shouldn't I have something against you? Ooh. We've got enough strangers overrunning us. Stranger nothing but danger. Stranger danger. Uh, well, uh, I could make trouble for you, human. Is that what you want? So, I mean, I have some questions. Can't promise I have a I'm lot of questions. Them. What's going on here, then? Who's in charge of the village? Were those bandits always outside the village? I'm pretty sure they just let them stay because they couldn't do anything about it. You mean it. they're gone? Yeah, murdered them. I'll take that as a thank you. Well... Maybe they were giving stuff to the villagers as well. I'll take that as a thank you. Well, goody for you. Now there's no one to drive off the blighted refugees. Wow. So Brian's would be glad, though. He's been talking about offering a reward for anyone who'd run them out. What's going on here? What isn't? We've got chastened barbarians in every farmholder south of Kalanhard running from the Darkspawn. Our... Not that they'll be safe here with the army gone. And who's in charge, if I can ask? You could talk to the Elder, though she's got her hands full getting everyone Everybody's on their way. Busy. For now, most folks go to Sir Bryant. He's head of the Chantry's Templars. All right, then. You don't have a lord? He's gone to war and taken all his soldiers, leaving us to fend for ourselves. There's not going to be much left when he returns, if he returns. He's a bit pessimistic, ain't he? Don't let me He's stop you. He's a little you. bit pessimistic. Wow. Wow. Well, then. I can see the uh, the local attitude here is not going to be very friendly towards me. Just started a female warrior. Ah. When I did my new character, I went alt story rather than the whole wedding day story. Ah, I didn't know you could do that. Well, obviously, if you're city elf. If you're city elf, that's always your origin. I don't know how it plays out if you're male. I don't know how it plays out. I think from what people said when we were doing it, if you choose a male, then you're the person who comes in and rescues uh, your betrothed. But obviously your betrothed has to die at some point defending you because then the story goes on from there. And it's cool how they have all these different starts as well. At times like this, I'd recommend buying yourself a strong drink or see what kind of dog's piss ale they have in this town. Ah, oh, the refugees. Everybody's been mean to the refugees. Please. We came here to get away from the fighting. Aw. Hello, boy. I'm scared. When are I'm we going scared. home? I don't know if you're I ever going home. I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? Oh. I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this True. the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. Ooh. Couldn't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? That would be great, thanks. Children, please! <laughs> Quieten down! Even Borksborn's telling you to stop. Well. It's true though, I was a trainee, I'd just gone through the ritual and he, he had been, you know, in trainee ranks for a while, so he is technically higher than us. Technically. Mm. Hi Dirt, welcome on in. 
and deep as well. The order and pristine condition of the royal inventories, bags, coffins, luggage, chests, treasure rooms, and even the royal dressers and cabinets are unmatched in the world. No one else than our queen, Dawn Whisper, keeps a minimalistic and orderly house. Just like my inventory, always, you know, full of things that I definitely need. You're so right, Deep. See, the town crier always knows what he's talking about. Love the party banter. It's really nice because it makes them feel a bit more real. Like, it feels like you're actually going on these adventures with them. Like, they have comments about things. They care about what, what's going on in the world. Rather than when you just have standard party members and they just kind of follow you. And they're just, just a thing that fights when you get into combat. I feel like they're real people at the moment. Hello. I heard those bandits are back again. Why don't the Templars kill them? I killed them for you. You're grateful. I don't like this place. Why did we come here? Because there's a war on, don't you know? I don't know if any of them want to talk to me. Let's steal from the refugees. It's only a pair of leather boots, so let's let's not. Oh, elf fruit. I'll take that. Sorry, refugees. It's not like you needed it. Ooh, mushrooms. It's fine. They won't miss a mushroom. A mushroom isn't going to save their starving children. It's fine. You never know when you're going to need that wedding dress. Exactly. I might need a disguise to sneak into a wedding incognito. And then they'll never know. You there. Hey, beneficially. I'm a glass shelter, perfectly balanced you. kind There's of guy. Try and stay in the middle of the party discussions. I guess, I don't know if it's beneficial to stay in the middle of the party discussions, because, I don't know, then they're both just neutral to you and none of them particularly like you. Hello, Templar. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Excuse me. What do you mean? I was looking for some news, actually. Do you know about the bandits just outside the village? I murdered them all. I don't know what they'll think about that, because obviously they haven't got rid of the bandits before. And they might consider that law-breaking. So I'm just gonna... I, I actually, I was looking for some news. I'm a local reporter, just wondering if you have the scoop on lothering. I keep calling it lothering. Textures are bugged again, you really? Might find that. I don't no, even it's notice. Probably just frightened gossip. We've had refugees Am I supposed to be able to see into the helmet? Two days. The might be and anyway. Talon are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'll be better oh, off dear. elsewhere, my friend. Well, uh, thanks for the warning. Are you going to keep me from going in? I guess he thinks I'm a refugee and I'm going to steal food. I'm just warning you, things may not be as hospitable as you would expect. People are frightened. Well, um, is anyone in charge? The ban has marched north with Terran Loghain, so Lothering's on its own. Most folks look to Elder Miriam. Otherwise, you could speak to Sir Bryant in the Chantry, I suppose. It's up to you. Hmm, or maybe I'll talk to both of them. They all talk to both of them because I can. Hey, well, Luigi and Hansel as well. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I was really looking forward to playing Dragon Age today, I've got to say. It has been a little while since we dived back into Dragon Age. Oh, do you want to talk to we me? Came here no, to get away they're just from the fighting. They're just, they're just moaning. I'm sorry. Fine, I'll try and find a solution to your situation. If I can. Robbed woman. Robbed child. Robbed man. Greetings to you, my lady. Oh no. If it isn't too much to ask. They got robbed so hard their names changed. Holy shit. I'd hate if that happened to me. Like, you know, one day someone tries to mug me on the way home and suddenly I don't have a name anymore. I'm just called Robbed Elf. Man, I'd take that really hard. Bread? I can spare nothing for beggars. Spot the evil option here. It's always rather easy to see. Uh, what happened to you? We thought it would be safer in Lothering. That the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. I draw Nobody the line at stolen lambs. Like us. Surely you understand. Sorry for your situation, but I cannot help. I met those bandits. They're dead now. Uh, oh, I think they probably ate your lamb. I'm sorry to break it to you. Didn't see any around. I wonder if I picked up like a, a nicer lamb steak on their bodies. That would be kind of sad. I met those bandits. They're dead you now. killed them? Oh, that's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. 
I can't thank you enough, friend. I stole everything. Even if we don't get everything back, it's it's good to know others will wait, be safe. Wait, wait, I took everything from their bodies. There's nothing left. Oh well, they'll never know. Oh well, cool. They seem fine with this. Dog ate the lamb. Oh dear. Book. Look, you gotta be careful. I know you're hungry. But you can't just eat people. To be fair, I did tell him to consume their bodies. So. See anything interesting, Bork? Oh, oh, he does. Bork runs up to you and deposits a slightly damaged cake into your waiting hands. Cake? Maybe there has been a wedding. Maybe. You stole their names too. Well, maybe they'll get them back and they'll be like, you know, redeemed elf now, not robbed elves. Hi, Mo. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you, my friend. What is this creature? This void, dark spawn being? Oh, ice water. Hello. Did you run the thing? No. No. You run the thing. Oh my god. He's good. He's so proud. I need to test it. I can't even test it yet. He's so proud of this thing that he made, which can basically if if I think it's only for mass sub gifts at the moment, is it? Yeah. Yeah. But I need to test it. It makes clips works. automatically and downloads them to my computer. But they've changed mm. it now, so if you have a VOD that has a muted audio, any yeah. clips within that section are automatically deleted now. Oh no. So any Just Dance clips? Well, gone. the annoying thing about Dragon Age is the main theme always gets yeah. muted. So whenever we start the game, or whenever the main theme works itself into the music, the VOD gets muted, which is sad. You should it's run it and make it batch file. I don't know how, and I'm in the middle of the stream, so no, okay? Okay. okay. <sighs> it's for <your> good. <laughs> He li he likes his his I his gadgets and his yet. gizmos. This is the testing phase. I don't even know if it works because I haven't tested it. Because I can't test it. Think I'm getting twenty subs anytime soon? No. Ziggy! Ah! We're so unprepared for this dance party. Ziggy, thank you so much for willingly giving your soul to me. I hope you're aware, but by subscribing, you've handed over your soul in return for 30 days of immortality and being part of our wonderful sub community. Do come and join us on the Discord. We have a sub only Discord and you can use all of those emotes wherever you like on Twitch. Just think your Discord and your Twitch accounts to join us over there. We do a lot of events offline as well. We play lots of video games together when we're not live on stream. Welcome. That took me by surprise. I'd only just gotten rid of the console and then I heard the dance music come through. But thank you so much. Oh, and uh, the most important thing, of course, is to choose the color for your soul. When you subscribe here, of course, I take your soul and you get transmuted into a wisp, which is a pure form of soul energy. So if you let me know what your favorite color is, I will cast you on screen. I think Mouse went for blue as well but I didn't have a chance to cast the mousy. If you do exclamation mark, and then the color that you desire, it will tell Elfot. But I see that you have chosen green. Let me cast you. Ziggy, 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 requests a green wisp. Thank you so much for using that prime on me. Out of the whole of Twitch, you chose this elf. I am honored. I am honored. So I'm gonna put you just over. You can kind of chill above my head for a while. Just as long as you promise to behave yourself, Sig. There we go. Beautiful. Yes, we've only been live for just under an hour, Waluigi. You're here at the very start. 30 days of immortality? We're we selling life insurance here. Look, Mo. There's, there's a bit of a problem. Like, of course I would make you immortal straight off, if I could. But there is a certain part of elven law that prevents you from transmuting the souls of living beings for eternity, but it goes up to 30 days. So as long as you do it every 30 days and renew it every 30 days, it's technically not illegal. It's a tiny bit of a loophole, so there you go. Hi, Conflu, welcome on in. I love your name, it's glorious, it's glorious. Hmm, he gave me cake. Walkspawn runs up to you and deposits a slightly damaged cake in your waiting hands. 
Uh, cake, excellent, good boy. You just found this? Not eating any found cake. I, uh, I'm sure it will come in handy. I suppose it's the thought that counts. It looks yummy. Well, looked yummy, maybe, at some point. A while, a while ago. Bork, bork, bork. Good boy, good boy, bork. Bork brought me cake. I love that you can have those little interactions with him. Hello, boy. Little boy. Have you seen my mother? Are you my mummy? I'm not your mummy. Beat it, kid. I love the evil options. I really want to do an evil playthrough so that I can just say all these sassy options like, screw you, yeah, fuck you. Like, there's so many good options. That depends. Who is your mother? You poor thing. Did you and your mother get separated? Yes, I have. She's uh, she's over there somewhere. Who is, who is your mother? That's the first question that we need to ask. Follow Dawn from Twitch London tweets. And then I see that she's playing Dragon Age Origin, which I loved. Welcome, Con. Good to have you. I am super new to Dragon Age. This is my first ever Dragon Age. This is only the third stream of playing Dragon Age. I let stream decide what our next playthrough would be. We did a charity poll last month when we were raising for St. Jude Children's Hospital and Dragon Age won by a landslide. There were some other good options, you know, we had Skyrim and Mass Effect and Witcher 3, but this just completely smashed the others out of the water, so I'm loving it so far. That depends. Who is your mother? She's really tall oh. and she has red hair. Like we live you. on a big farm hold, all of us. It's the main men with swords came, and mother told me to run to the village as fast His as I could. His voice is so, so cute. I did. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting, and I can't see her. Well, uh, yeah, good luck, kid. <laughs> so mean. You can't just leave him. Do you know where your father is? Come with me, I'll help you look for your mother. I don't think she's coming, child. Now is the time to spread your wings and survive for yourself. You thought the world was going to molly cuddle you forever. Time to stand up on two feet and become a man. Um, uh, do you know where your father is? He went with William to the neighbors yesterday, but he didn't come back. William? Well, good luck with that. I don't think she's coming. Look, I'll help you, kid. Come with me. Mother join join my party. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed Stranger to wait danger. for her here. Oh, in no. The village. Cool. Well, your mother's pretty sensible, but I don't... I think you should trust me, kid. Go to the Chantry, child. Someone will look after you. Here, take this silver. Buy something to eat. Yeah, good luck with that. None of these options are what I would actually say. I'd be like, okay. I understand. If I find her, I'll come and tell you, but you stay right here next to the guards, okay? It's probably what I would say in real life, but there's no option for that. There's no option. Oh my god, it's gameplay? What in Dragon Age Origins? Are you surprised? Hi, Fondy. Fancy seeing a pond here. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I went rogue and uh, I'm a very stereotypical elf. I'm playing like a bow build elf. I don't know if it's really working. I probably would have been a wiser option to go for a magic user class, but hey, it works. All right. Well, um... Go to the Chantry. But I hope this isn't the orphanage. Because I don't want to send him to the orphanage if his parents aren't actually dead. Go to the orphanage, I child. Will, but only go. if I don't find mother first. So, um, are you really an elf? Everybody always asks this question, but yes, these are my real ears. I grew them myself. Have you never met an elf before? Why do you ask? Did the ears give me away? This is how I should respond when somebody asks me this in chat. Like, whoa, really? Did the ears give me away? Or, that's a stupid question. Um, why do you, why do you ask? Father says elves aren't very nice. But Aww. you're nicer than everybody here. Thank you for helping me. I didn't do anything, kid. Aww. Well, maybe if I meet his family eventually, they'll give me some kind of reward. That's the only reason to be nice to people, right? Because they might give you gold in the end. It's a very human mindset to have. 
picked up Final Fantasy last night. We do have some avid Final Fantasy online players up in chat. I'm sure they will join you. I always try to play other classes, but Mage is just so, so good. I'm tempted. I'm like, I'm halfway through like starting another character as a mage just to see what it's like. Let's go spirit bomb. Let me steal from these needy people. Hello. Ah, oh, the Chantry board. Yes, let us run errands for the betterment of mankind as well as a few Ooh. coppers. Oh, she obviously does not like the Chantry. I'm going to have to be careful with my decisions. Bandits, bandits, everywhere. As transcribed on behalf of Sir Bryant, Templar and Defender of the Faith. Know that all those who prey upon refugees do so under the pain of death. The Maker spurns bandits and their kind. The Templars offer a sizable reward for the apprehension or execution of the bandit leaders plying their trade in the northern wood and roads. Beware, the bandits are numerous and of considerable skill. Only a well-armed and well-trained party should brave the deep woods. We pray for the success of any who undertake this mission. Residents of good standing and passing travellers have indicated that there are three bandit groups in the northern wood. This humble chanter would echo Sir Bryant's caution lest you wind up another victim to these evil men. The reward for such service is three sovereigns. May the Maker look after his children in our hour of need. I will accept this quest. Ooh, seal just appeared on the bottom. The first, like, message board quest that I've accepted. Cool. Hello? I can't even work out what he's saying. He's just screaming something. Hello? What are you saying? I guess we should go and meet the Chantry as well. Yeah, the job board. You guys can't see this, but there's a little tooltip. Several organizations in Ferelden maintain job boards like this one. Once you've completed a task, speak to the organization's representative to receive your reward. Indeed. I should probably tell them I killed some bandits then. I thought they were going to look pretty unkindly upon it, because obviously it's their job to police this area. But, um, yeah, I killed some bandits. I'm not ashamed of it. Maybe you were just accidentally murdered their parents. The what a shame. Of evil are on your doorstep. They Calm will down. Upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. You're okay, mate. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at dark spawn hands. There, one of their minions is already amongst what? us. This woman bears their evil stench. Can't you I love how my character's just like staring at him like fills her? Excuse me? Ignore him, people. I know I intend to. Why don't you keep your voice down? Is no one going to shut this madman up? Watch where you throw your accusations, fool. I don't even know what to say to his face. This guy has such a screamy voice. I know, right? He's just so whiny. Lip sync win. I was going to say I'm very impressed by how loud he can carry his voice for only moving his lips like this much. He must be a very talented ventriloquist. Hey, Jonathan. Thank you for the host as well. Welcome on in. Hi, Tiny. The tiny druid is here. We need a druid in our party. I think that's the part that we're lacking at the moment, really. I mean, we have Morrigan, but she has yet to master some skills. Uh, watch where you throw your accusations, fool. I don't know if that's the argumentative option, though. Um, why don't you keep your voice down? He might just think I'm trying to silence him. But we'll I see. watch the black heart descend on my people. Oh I will not be silent. Oh, how Please important. stop! Somebody shut his mouth. But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us. <laughs> He's crazy. You waste my time. Continue ranting if you must. That's enough. This ends now. I think that's the kind of option where I'd like draw up my weapon. You poor man. What happened to you? Don't be a fool. Darkspawn can be defeated. Yeah, Darkspawn can be defeated. I think I've just gotta, like, play the strong game. No! I have seen them! You cannot run! You cannot fight! Oh. You poor man. I mean, I think I'm gonna be a bit sympathetic and see if that makes him open up, you know, kind of like a mini therapy session. We can maybe draw 
this out of him, maybe he'll start to talk some sense. My family, my clan, those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here, but we cannot escape the dog spawn. Oh my god, it must have been horrible. How did you escape? I, I ran, hearing my wife screams as they dragged her off. She had hair the same color as yours. Really? Good choice. Ginger waifu is good choice. You're not honoring her death by acting like this. I don't know if he'll take offense to that. I feel like either of these could work. If I just say I'm sorry for your loss, then I'm not like, you know, making a point about it. Hmm. Take it back. This means war. He's so dramatic, isn't he? Like, he's so calm and composed. He's like clearly getting his point of view across here. Um, you're not honoring her death by acting like this, but I feel like he might say, how dare you tell me what to do? You didn't even know her. So, um, scaring these people won't get her back. You, you are right. Yes, I am. Oh my God, he's listening. I will go. Oh, oh could He was us. right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. That's right. No hope for any of you fools! Everybody panic! Um, there, there's always hope. Muster your courage. I have p good persuasion. I have good cunning, which is, you know, my, my stat that improves my eloquence as well. Uh, th th there is always hope. Look on the bright side of life. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to Denerim. All right then. He sounds like a character off EastEnders. Your king is dead. There is no hope. Wait, is he still doing it? Where is he? I can still hear him. He was like, all right, I'll go. And then just continues doing the same thing. Ugh. Despair! Default option, kill them all. Now that's a good solution. I don't know why I didn't think of this, Nihil. See, this is why I need chat to play this game with me. I liked the lie down and die option. It seemed easy. We must go north to Denerim. Everyone immediately leaves without further discussion. They just, they just go. They were so set in their minds before and now. Thank you for helping me see the true light of this situation. Now I leave. We ride at dawn. If you seek refuge in the Chantry, there's simply no room left. Then I should go. Do I look like a refugee to you? So many are coming to Lothering. I make no assumptions. Priests are within if you seek to offer devotion to the Maker, however. May he protect us all. I killed all the bandits, by the way. Hey, did you know those bandits on the on the highway? Were? Did you drive them off? Yeah. Well, so Brian will appreciate that. Give me the monies. Who's in charge of the Chantry? The Revered Mother runs ah, the Chantry yes. itself, the revered mother. and Sir Bryant heads the Templars stationed here. I see. And have you heard any news? Not since Terran Loghain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the King. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Goodbye. Make her watch over you. Why, thank you. Alright. Well then, I guess we just go in. Since he thinks that we're worthy of going in. We can just say we're going to pray with the priests. Seems to be a viable option. Hello, everyone. Ooh. There's word of darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. Very noble May of you. May the Maker you. have mercy on us. Ah, Sir Bryant. You must be who they were talking about. Yes, my lady. Who might you be? Oh, he called me Milady. That's the only character in this game so far that's actually like addressed me somewhat nicely. They're all just like, hello, elf, usually. There's a bit of elfism going on. I am the Grey Warden, Nienna. You may call me Nienna, but only in private. <laughs> Nobody of importance. I am the Grey Warden, Nienna. I'm going to be upfront about I it. I see. I am Sir Bryant, commander of the Lothering Templars. Tan Loghain declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. Who summons the egg thief? Hog, oh, thank you for the biddies. Welcome, welcome. I was just talking to uh, this lovely gentleman here. 
Yes, he welcomes you in also. Thank you for the biddies. Filling up my cup with beautiful shinies. I went city elf, Turbo. I went city elf. So, um, that's an origin story and a half. The, the, wait, what? Terran Logan declared all great wardens traitors. Oh god, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't such a good play to introduce myself with. The Grey Wardens didn't know such thing. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. Well, um... Are you in charge here? Is there any other help I can offer? About those bandits? Well, I kind of mercilessly slaughtered them all and then have my dog eat their remains. Maker's breath. How many times must we drive them off? They robbed me. I I demand compensation. They won't bother you again. I killed them. I think he's going to pay me either way. Or just say thank you. All of them? By yourself? It's true. I saw it from my post. It was over so fast, we didn't even have time to get over there. <laughs> Sad that Rockwood it needed to come mattering. to that. But then they asked for it. Indeed. Will you accept a small reward for your service? I will. Certainly. Thank you. I could keep an eye out for trouble. For the right pay. Ooh, yes. I wish I could afford such help to be truthful. <laughs> Take your reward at any rate. He's got no it dollar. Is all I have to offer. If it interests you, there is a chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. The chanters even offer pay for some of them. Now, unless there's something else you need. Well, um, I need information. Things are very dire in the village as well, but I'm not sure it's any of my business. We'll see if we can help, though. I should probably get myself dinner. Yeah, street waffles definitely count as dinner. I don't know what you're talking about. I've been having so much fun because Aria bought me some street waffles at Twitch London and she has the smarts. So she knew that there were loads of different packets of different flavors and all of us said like, oh, I kind of want to try all of them. So Aria came up with a solution where she put one of each into the bags and then repackaged them. And I've just been having the most fun game, eating street waffles and trying to guess what flavors they are. I may have eaten all of them already because the game of trying to guess what flavor they were is, was just too fun. There was definitely a spicy one because there's one that I started eating and I was like, oh, oh, Ash, my throat is burning. And he was like, let me try. And he just went, this isn't spicy, but it was something spicy. I don't know what it was. Ash thought it was chili, but I'm not sure if it really was chili. We'll see. Hi, Robbie, welcome on in. Whoa, okay, I'll have to be careful. I'm trying to frequently save as well because I have come across like a lot of fights that, I don't know, they have annoying save points before them. So like whenever I feel like we're about to get ourselves into trouble, I'm like, quick save, quick save, quick save. But yeah, the inn is always a place of great conflict. I was predicting before this that we were gonna have some sort of like tavern brawl or something. So maybe I should save in case I regret my decisions. How have you been? How is Ash? The consort is doing well. It's too hot here at the moment though. Benene! My beautiful bright yellow Benene. Welcome back for 17 months. I can't believe it has been so long. Thank you for giving me your soul again. Thank you for always loyally serving with your green sword. I appreciate you so much, Banana. Come and get some very well-deserved love up in chat for the return of Benene Hamhock. And uh, not, not just returned as a wisp, returned as a tier three wisp. As if you could be any more glorious, Banana. Will that be a, a bright yellow, tenderly tier three soul on screen? Let me know and I will convert you. I hate the pack Aria gave me in one sitting. I was the same. I was like, well, there's like, you know, six or seven in here, so I should spread them out. I should have like a bit of one every day, but I ate all of them. <laughs> It's just the game of working out which ones were which flavors was far too fun. Hey Whale, the Assassin's Creed Origins Discovery Tour is absolutely amazing for someone that's into history. As in like in the real world and they take you around the sites that inspired Assassin's Creed. Well, um, uh, I, I need information. Things are very dire. I need information. If the matter is important. Give me information. Search. Well, um, have you heard any news? I keep asking everybody if they've heard any news. Other I'm not than even the dark exactly sure what that means. Bearing down on us, none of it is good. 
Payan Loghain is set to declare himself king here. Woo! Disaster. He's being raided! Kaba is coming in with a mighty force of raiders. Come and get some shields up in chat. They may be unfriendly, we don't know. Do you come bearing lender spread? We shall see. For the glory of the guild charge! I mean, they look pretty noble. I mean, at least from here, they're looking pretty noble. Coming in, charging in their suits of armor. Hi, Merlin. Hi, Gabba. Thank you so much for the raid. I super appreciate it. Wait, the guild has come for my loot. Hang on, I didn't. I didn't read that bit. I just. I just. I just envisaged a guild charging nobly into battle. But my the loot is my own. My inventory is full. You're not having everything in my inventory. Oh, welcome, guys. If you are new here, yes, I am an elf. Yes, these are my real ears. If you have any questions about real elves, not elves from the fantasy world, then I'm always happy to answer them. We play a lot of RPGs here. Just started Dragon Age, so your timing is excellent. This is only our third stream of Dragon Age, and I am loving it so far. If you're coming in with the raid, have you played this game? And if so, what did you think? How many hours of your life have you poured into this? Thank you so much, Kaba. What were you up to today on stream? I hope you had a good time. The guild has come for my loot. Not if I can help it. We'll defend it to our last, won't we? I like my shinies. They're very important. We just got into, um, something brook. I always forget the name of this place. I want to call it Lothbrook, but I think that's the influence of Robin Hood. Ja the jazz has returned happy weekend dawn says jazz may it be nearly as exciting as last weekend i know nothing's nothing's gonna beat that now football stadium and a bunch of wisps in real life thank you for 17 months of love and support jazz you are a beautiful wisp thank you for being part of the community for so long and always supporting an elf welcome back oh my gosh the jazz has returned as well oh and jazz you know how it goes from here. Tell me that soul colour, and I will very gladly take it once again. I think Banana's going for a, a great big yellow banana-y soul. And now I suddenly how strangely want bananas. But I will cast you as a glorious tenderly tier 3 banana. Oh, oh. If you haven't seen a tier 3 wisp before, you're in for a treat. Let me show you the glory that is a tier 3. I'm going to put you above my head in the place of honour. Try not to tickle me, though. It's very unpleasant. Welcome back, Benene. And I wonder what team Jazz is going to go for. Blue or purple? Ooh. We shall see. We shall see. It's up to you. Don't let chat influence you. Yes, please, but just not on the pizza, right? Yes. No, thank you. I don't think I'm someone who's going to be partaking in banana pineapple pizza ever again. Unless you make me do it for St. Jude again next year. Would not appreciate. I think I was purple last month, so blue this month. You're playing both sides here. Jazz, jazz, jazz. We have War of the Wisps coming up soon. You've got to choose a side. You can't dance between the two. But I will cast you as a beautiful blue. Welcome back, Jazz. Yeah, War of the Wisps should be next week. So, prepare yourselves. I'm going to put Jazz, Jazz by Banana. You can supervise Banana. He's always up to something. But welcome back. I'm Ejo as well. And Faye. Best of luck roaming around outside of Tamriel. And may the light shine upon thee. We are in strange parts now. I don't really know who to trust Faye. It's very strange. Like, I don't know who to reveal my true identity to. And I feel like I've maybe made a mistake with this guy. He seems pretty honorable, though. Terran Loghain is set to declare himself as king. I hear. Disaster piled on disaster. King Caelan had no heir. I think he was married, but they didn't have any. None that we know of. Tern Loghain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero, and his daughter may be queen, but oh. he is a commoner, and the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. <laughs> What's wrong with Arl Eamon? Arl Eamon has fallen Eamon. ill. And his knights are on a quest for the sacred urn filled with Andraste's ashes, said to cure any malady. He must be very ill if they chase okay. miracles as the only cure. One of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here Gonna searching for regardless. fantasies while... Never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. 
Well, uh, things seem very dire in the village. You haven't really done anything about that situation, have you? They are. With the ban having taken his men north, the village is left to its fate. We will evacuate as many as we can before the Horde reaches us. I will stay as long as I am needed. Why, thank now, you. unless there's something else you need. Well, um... I guess you could tell me your life story. That would be interesting. The uwu urn! You just open it and it's like, oh, and then it plays adorable anime music and it just heals you through the power of kawaii. And you cannot resist its influence. I need to find this in real life. I feel like it'd be very useful. Oh yes, I ruined my entrance. I totally forgot. What is this? You ruined your entrance? What is, what is this face? What, what is this? Oh my god. Is, what are you hiding behind? <laughs> what do you, it look, what are you hiding behind? Do you have like a blanket, like, you know, stealth jazz? Dun, dun, dun. I feel like it's only appropriate that your first emote would be like you hiding, because you are invisible after all. No one sees you coming. You're hiding behind your arm. Kind of like a half dab. I like it, it's stylish, it's stylish, it goes with the theme. So glad to still see people playing Origins in 2019. Welcome, Archie. I never played this series and it was never like on my radar, even though I love RPGs and have for a long time. And I think when it did get on my radar, I was like, well, I know this game is gonna suck up so much of my time and I will want to devote my life to it. So I've kind of been waiting for the right moment to play it. And I'm so happy that I can play it with all of you on Twitch. Hey, Spectre. Spectre giving us some lovely hugs there as well. Hi, Myth. Hope everything, ha everyone has had a better Friday than me. It's one of those weeks, isn't it? It's one of those weeks. The human world is a, a strange thing. But come to the Elven Forest. All is right here. I mean, apart from an ancient evil coming to destroy the world. Uh, but we'll deal with that with the heroes. Uh, I should go. I need some information. Is there any other help you can offer me? I cannot openly help you, I fear, but here, take this key. Ooh. Ooh. It opens the large cabinet on the far wall. There is more there than we can carry when we evacuate, so take okay. what you need. Ooh, I get supplies. I need more information. If it's already been pretty helpful, certainly. Leanna. Um, I've, I mean, I've already asked him all of these. I've nothing else no, left to ask. Unless there's something else you need. I mean, if the, matter is important, the conversation option certainly. still there, so I'm going to ask. Are you in charge? The revered mother leads ah, this flock. I, I merely I think he command wanted me her to ask him. Normally, our role is to protect the Chantry and seek out unsanctioned magic. For now, it is all we can do to protect the innocent. And if you found an unsanctioned mage, what would you do? Oh. Let us pretend that I was such a mage. <laughs> what would you Morgan's do to me? Morgan's like just being uh, very upfront about it. I have no time it. to even think about such things right now. My concern is protecting these people. I see nothing threatening them other than the Darkspawn. It's true. Well, uh, where would I find this revered mother? In her study, no doubt. Preparing what she will take when we eventually evacuate. Well, how do the Templars fight against magic? Hmm? We have more than swords at our disposal. Oh, no. We're taught to dispel unholy magics as well. Uh, evil, if only our powers work magics. to keep away the darkspawn. Alas, it is not so. Are you the only protection this village has? Our ban was summoned by Tan Loghain, and he took his soldiers north with him. Oh dear. Lothering has been abandoned. Well, tell me something. I love how the conversation options just keep on going with this guy. Like, I have more questions. Tell me more. Tell me something else. Please, keep speaking. We have holy hand grenades. You must press the pin and count to three. Hallelujah. I love holy hand grenades. It just reminds me of worms. Worms, total mayhem. They had the holy hand grenade, best weapon. If the matter is important, certainly. Uh, have you heard any other news? Any news? Only if you're interested in the business Not of four mages. four or five, but three. You must count but thrice before pulling the pin. We need to watch that again for some movie night. I mean, we've already watched it for some movie night, but we need to watch it again. Five is right out of the question, indeed. I am, but tell me. I have heard word that the Templars who watch over the Circle of Magi's Tower have called for the right of annulment. Hopefully I've heard wrong. 
Why? What's the right of annulment? If the right of annulment is invoked, the tower and every living soul within will be destroyed. We need the Circle's help. We should go and find out what's happening. To have such a call when mages are needed to fight the Darkspawn, something terrible must have happened. Yeah, those evil mages. I have nothing mages. else to tell you. The only news I care about is the approaching horde. Well, um, I should go. Finally, finally, the only two options are I should go or I have nothing else to ask. So I'm going to go. Travel safely. I'm, I'm going to leave. And may the maker this watch place. over you. Why, thank you. Oh, he gave me 20 silver. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Hi, Doofy. Happy Friday and happy Dragon Age Origins Day. We are continuing once again. This is only our third time of playing it, so you haven't missed much. Oh, there's got to be someone else who'll give me some information. Yes. What is your name? You seem quite odd to me. You would not be the first yes. to think so. But avert your eyes. I will not have you staring over long. Yeah, you tell Let's him. Get used to it. I'll be watching you. We want no trouble here. You could change her outfit and then I guess she would look less odd. She's basically walking in here like, hey, I'm a witch with that on. Um, I don't know why she's not been arrested yet. I guess they have bigger troubles. He's creeping on you. He's like, mm, you seem nice. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Right. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? Ew. By the maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon. I'm glad they agree with me on this. So you're here looking for awkward. the urn of sacred ashes then? I am indeed. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day my hope dims. Oh dear. Well, uh, you probably are chasing a fable. You're wasting your time. The true problem is the darkspawn. Yeah, shouldn't you be fleeing the darkspawn? Oh yeah, it's it's, uh, it's face paint. I have like a face tattoo on my character. Although, after every fight, you sometimes have battle wounds, you sometimes have blood on you, and the appearance of your character changes, so I could have had a black eye. I could have. That bitty cup is in the right place. So many times to go under the chin. What, during the cutscenes, just collect under the chin. Collect some beard fluff in the bit cup. I like a bit of that. I was hoping to meet Arl Eamon, in fact. So your quest for the ashes has brought you here. I think they're chasing something terrible. Your friend Sir Henrik is dead. I have something of his. Ah, so we killed these bandits and it, there was a letter from uh, Sir Henrik saying, if anyone honorable finds this, take it to my friend. So I probably should tell him. Kind of a, an awkward conversation started when I've just met him, but yeah, your, your friend's dead. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Mm -hmm. Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Is there a reward, perhaps? That's so insensitive, but I kind of want his money. I, I dealt with the bandits that killed him. Then he might be grateful and then give me money. Thank you. I wonder how many money? of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. He's not gonna pay me, is he? Ungrateful bastard. Well then, um, I was hoping to meet Arl Eamon. Why is that, if I may ask? We need his help against Terran Loghain. I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Terran Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Yeah. Whatever the Terran has done or not done, the Arl remains ill or worse. That is my primary concern. Well, is there any point in going to Redcliffe even? Like, should we just stay here? Stay here, eat some Lambus bread. Maybe he's chasing Half-Life 3. With each day, his hope dims. I would love to see it happen. So unfinished. There's so much more that we need to know. So much more that we need to know. Morgan's so blunt, it makes her character very unique for this series. I like her. She says what she thinks. She doesn't hide behind any kind of fluffy nonsense. But I feel like it's, it's something that could also get us into trouble. Because there are times that you need to hold your tongue. Especially in RPGs when someone's being confrontational. Sometimes you just have to back off and be like, okay. And let them do their thing. But Morrigan is not a fan of that at all. Hi, Joanne. Money. He didn't pay me, Ek. How dare he not pay me? Do you think Loghain is involved with the Arl's illness? The Arl fell ill before the king died. 
But what if Logan planned that too? Oh, such thoughts do not sit well with me. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. A returning soul. The we have Myth there, back she for tell four you more than I could. months. Welcome back, Myth. Honoured to take your soul once again. Come here some love and some hype in chat for four months of immortality. Welcome back. Myth says, four months. Thanks for all the fun. Let's have a good drink to celebrate. Hi. Cheers to you, my friend. Thank you for four months. I can't believe that I've had your soul that long already. And of course, do let me know the color of that soul and I will cast you. A drink in your honor. Is Dragon Age meme light? I've not come across any. I'm sure there are some, but I guess when Dragon Age came out, it was probably before the age of memes. But I'm sure there are plenty of memes that you could make nowadays, if you wished. I... Shouldn't you be fleeing the Darkspawn? My mission takes priority. Okay. But I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to show for my efforts. Well, your quest for the ashes brought you here then. I expect you to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. Tell me more about the urn of sacred acid. As acid? <laughs> oh god! I've made a terrible mistake. Um, I mean, maybe it is just full of acid. I don't know, like... Tell me more about this urn of sacred acid. What kind of trippy experience can it take one on? Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Uh huh. Surely you know all this. Yes. I mean, uh, supposedly it contains that, but it could have anything in it, right? Including hallucinogenic substances. I'd like to hear what you've learnt. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Ew. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I don't think it exists. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, my lady. You have been most helpful. Yes, Neil. I think you were here during the first stream, weren't you? But my betrothed, the elven guy that I was supposed to marry, had the most fabulous eyelashes, and I just couldn't stop complimenting his eyelashes. He looked amazing. Oh, I thought I could read the book and learn more about it, but there's probably other books in the Chantry. And then shall the Maker return to the Black City in heaven, and then shall the Chant of Light make it pure. Let all mankind be humble. Let all repeat Who the is chant of light. Who is saying? Only the word that's dispels the darkness of upon us. Maybe and when she the was maker ugly. spoke, Maybe she chant of light scattered in the darkness. I guess he's the saying it. Hello, refugees. This is no better than what we learned. Hello, sir. 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 Hello, Gifts can be sold to a merchant or given to certain certain party members to influence their approval rating. You you mean that stealing from refugees is going to make people like me? Let it okay. rise at last we'll to the ears of the maker. Let him hear our unwavering faith. Stop your chanting. Ah, here is the revered mother that everybody was talking about as well. And there should be some books around here as well. We'll tell us more about it. I can't see anything right now. <laughs> wow. The mods can add the quote, Craven, if they desire. Welcome one in. I rolled a dwarf. Not sure how far I got. Dwarf. I was kind of tempted by dwarven start because I find dwarves very interesting. They're always very, very different in every single RPG that you play. Like, they do their culture differently. Ah, uh, I haven't met Leilana. Leilana? Liliana? Leilana? I haven't met them yet. We'll see if we meet them. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? Really, will I? You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. Well, uh, I have nothing to offer. Tied to the Chantry? Are you joking? I think that Morrigan would approve that, but I'm just gonna say... Um, who are you? I am the revered mother know, of this Chantry. 
Traditionally, those who seek my blessing tithe first. Pay you for your blessing? Uh, what tithe is acceptable? Might I suggest 30 silver? Ah! I'm sorry, but I only have 10 silver. 30 silver it is. I have nothing to offer you. I understand. Not all are wealthy enough to spare even a few coins for the Maker's favor. Bless what me for free. For you, then? Free blessing? I'm a Grey Warden. I need your help. A Grey Warden? Here? Oh dear. Oh dear, You oh put dear. me in a difficult position. You must know that Tern Loghain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. Yes, and he was completely wrong. So I've heard, but it is Loghain who betrayed the king. Tern Loghain? That is as hard for me to believe as his condemnation of the wardens. Business. There is a price on your head. Lay low, and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... Well, can you provide any help to us at all? I cannot help you without risking the safety yeah, of this so. village enchantry. The best I can do is keep your presence a secret. I am sorry. We Now, if there is nothing else... I was hoping to be blessed, and I guess only rich people to be blessed, I guess. Default option, kill her and steal her stock of blessings. I read that as her stockings to start with, I was like, why would I want to steal a priest's stockings? But I guess they could sell for a few coins. I'm tired of dwarves always being made Glaswegian. Aye, true. In every single game you get your northern dwarves. I don't know why. People just stick to it now because it's a stereotype. For a Grey Warden? Yes, you have a difficult road to walk, don't you? That's me. Oh, in oh, Andraste's name, I call upon the Maker to watch over his child and creation. Watch over her path, O Maker. Give her light I don't know if this in darkness. Will actually do anything. I don't know which of the gods so in this world are actually be. real. Now, if there is nothing else, perhaps I should go. May the Maker guard you, Grey Warden. Well, she was not helpful whatsoever. Well, well, well. Is anything else in here? Ah, the key to the cabinet I was given. You used the key. Oh, health poultice. Yes, and a lesser injury kit. I will take these. Oh, my inventory is just about full now. Are there any side corridors I can go through? seeing anything at the moment i don't want to miss anything though that's my greatest fear because there's so many good side parts in this game your bow is so big i know right it was one of the darkspawn's bows we stole it from them it was better than my simple ash bow that i had so i just took it dog is huge i know you can even talk to him craven he cocks his head at you we called him borkspawn get it because darkspawn do you see anything interesting? He always finds something. He brought me cake last time. Boxborn does not seem to have found anything. Oh, okay. You're still a good boy. You're still a good boy, Bork. Didn't find me any more cake. Well, all right. Well, all right. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I have gathered my party, and I am ready. So... I guess I'm just going to explore a little bit more of this town, see what else we can find. I want to go and deal with those bandits, but I think I need to be a little bit stronger. Mushroom! Taking all the free things I can find. Last one for theory so reference. I heard that so much. Oh, I'd God. rather talk about your mother. There you go again. There's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. To you, perhaps, you would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates, mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? He's so I annoying. I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. <laughs> oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. The sass is real. I'm just going to double check that we have the game on now. Uh highest graphic settings yeah we do cool because when we started this game i had it on low and i had no idea i just assumed it was an old game and there was this sudden graphical update when we realized we could change the graphic settings 
Alison. Hello. Hello. Oh, stranger. Hello. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. What do you need traps for? Old man Barlin said that Darkspawn may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm. I figured I'd put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. Why don't you use bison traps? He's probably too poor for them. Barlin has poison traps on his land? Oh, he doesn't have any poison yet, thank the I'd better be careful then. So his fields are just full careful. of traps. He can be a bit eccentric. Hmm. Well, why don't you buy some traps? None to be had. Barlin has all the traps in the village in his fields. Sorry. I can't make traps. I, I didn't mean to bother you. Well, I'm very bothered. Sorry. Have a terrible day. I, I think I eventually get the ability to make of traps. Of course. Wear the gloves. I need to sell things. I need to sell things. I think there are missing textures again. <laughs> Or maybe this is how the whole village is supposed to be. Just, you know, a dark blackened void. Yeah, we had to restart the game last time because we were in this uh, fortress and the walls were all just black. And I was like, okay, you know, obviously it's been overtaken by the darkspawn. So maybe it's part of the actual game and it's supposed to look evil. But no, we just lost the textures. I might just restart. It just takes a game restart to make it happen. Textures are very bugged, yes. Let us restart the Dargon Age. See if we can fix the textures. There's an option to enable speech bubbles. What's that, Mac? I mean, I know I know what you mean by speech bubbles, but how would that work in this game? As in like speech bubbles when I respond to them? Booting up the game again. <laughs> Here it comes. Beautiful main theme. Play some more change. You love playing this game. Did you play it back in the day when it came out? I feel so sad that I didn't discover this back when it came out. I just had no idea about Dragon Age back then. Do you have Morrigan on the highest sass setting? Oh yes. I let her express her sass constantly. Any opportunity she gets to be sassy, I'm like, you go for it, girl. You, you earned your sass. Damn it! I didn't save my game. I assumed there'd be an auto save before you go into the Chantry. Was that wrong of me assuming? I assumed there would be an auto save before the Chantry. Oops. Mistakes were made. Well, we can do what we did before, just there. very, very fast. If you're looking, move on if you can. Rings well, I didn't really gain anything from going in there. I just said hello to everybody. Please I killed the bandits. The unfortunate whenever they get the chance. I don't think there's any way you to like skip dialogue. But hey. the for the last two days. Save the everything with F5 after you birthday. do anything. Thanks, Insom. I wasn't around. sure of the quick save we key yet. can barely keep order. You'll be better off elsewhere, my friend. Oh, we didn't we didn't crash, but I guess the um the graphics themselves may have crashed. His armor definitely looks better now as well. Um uh, can I ask you a few questions? Let's just go sport. through and do what we did before. Please ask someone in town. A slight setback no indeed. I might just go the other way and then like catch up with the other conversations off stream, because we actually didn't gain that much by going in that building. I thought we was gonna like give us more of the main quest. Is anyone in charge here? Yes, the, the Great location. Mother. Yes, so indeed. On its own. Most I usually save after every fight and after Otherwise every lengthy conversation. In I guess I'm just I so used to like it's going to into a building or out of a building and having a, a quick save happen, but not in it's this day But I'm thinking everyone in Lothering is aware of the approach. Wait, we should help the kid again because that's what we did before. He was like, "Where's my mummy?" And I was like, "I don't know. Who's your mother?" And she said, "Oh, she has red hair like me." And she has red Speed run. We're gonna speed run the conversation. As far as I know, you can't skip the dialogue though. Let me know if there's a dialogue skip key so you can get through it more quickly. Thank you for the follow, Archie. So I did. She said she'd be right behind but me. But she was But there. I've been waiting and waiting and My I can't see her. My mother abandoned me. Well, um, where's your father? He went with William to the neighbours yesterday. I love how at the end of this, the kid just like... he didn't come back. He, he doesn't say, oh, I'll come with you. Thanks for the help. He just says, thanks, and then runs off. 
Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed well, to wait for her. Well, you should stay here, here and tell the, the soldiers. Go to the Chantry, I child. Will, but only if I don't find Mother first. So, um, are you really It kind of really reminds me of the voice acting in the Harry Potter games. Are you really an elf? Did the ears give me away? Last time I was like, yeah, why do you ask? Father I was trying to be understanding. Elves aren't very nice, but the voices here are the best ever. That quality thing. voice Thank acting kind of reminds me. me of Fable. You know where they have just like every accent in the UK all kind of splurged together in a single fantasy realm. What did I take before? Not much, I don't think. All right, we have to deal with Shouty Man again. We already read this, it's about the bandits in the woods, so I'm going to accept that quest, we're going to save again. And then we're going to tell this guy to shut the heck up, just like we did before. Can I sit your chin, Gav? Do it for Copper. It's kind of so funny. Better to slit their throats Ooh. now than to and gloom. We actually made him back down last time. <laughs> he was like, you're right, I'll leave. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills her? Um, and he, he accused me. Why don't you keep your voice down is what I said. I watch the black heart descend oh, on my no. I will not oh, be Oh, so silent. terrible. Please stop. Poor man. Somebody's you know, I do feel sorry for him. But isn't he right? But there's no reason the to spread despair to everybody else. We're going to die. This minion is and your family the killed in front of you. Of Honestly, I think us. he feels a bit guilty as well because during this, he says like, I heard my wife's screams as I ran away. So he probably feels like he was a bit of a coward for running. So he feels like he has to like tell everybody else like, oh, it's so terrible. Oh, there's no hope. I I said, you poor man, what happened? And then he, my family, he was kind my of clan. a bit Those easier on me then. Them all. Some of there are plenty of cowards here. in this game. But we I mean, I don't blame him if it was so obvious that like he couldn't win against them. And he was just like, I'm leaving. Must have been horrible. How did you escape? I, I ran. Yeah, there you go. Hearing my wife screams as they dragged her off. She had hair the same color as yours. She was also a ginger, which makes it even sadder. Um, scaring these people won't get her back. And he agrees with me after this as well. You, you are right. I will go. Lots of dialogue options. He was right, heart, wasn't he? Yeah. There's no hope for us. He was fine with it in the end. There is always hope. Muster your courage. You're right. Suddenly minds are changed. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to Denerim. Denerim we go. Easy. Right, now we just speed run every other conversation. This guy, I don't think we actually have to talk to him before we go in. I think we just skip that because he was just like... Hey, the Chantry are There's in there. There's word of darkspawn like, oh. stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. Hi, we are the only hope of protection in. this village it's has the sweet, sweet lady. not abandon them. That is all. They usually try to persuade them to stay and fight for their families. Yeah, they yes, should. Yes, my lady. Who might you be? And then this was a very long conversation. This was such a long conversation. I said it was a great warden. He was like, hey, that doesn't make a thing to me right now. Commander of the Lothering Templars. Tan Logan Elven declared Charm, all great turning the tide of battle, traitors responsible for the king's death. I have uh, you know this, specked Baron. into having a silver tongue a little bit as well. The Grey Wardens did no such thing. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as He's careless or malicious wardens. as the Tan claims. He killed the king, way, essentially. There it is. Not it is him, best you not linger. But the guy who betrayed all of us. Just in case. It's his fault. Uh, is there any other help you can offer? I He'll give me the key. Help you, I there fear, we go. We take the key. Here. I don't Take feel like key. anything else he told us was. It opens the large cabinet on the far wall. There is more there. I than feel we bad, but he, there evacuate, wasn't anything so he told us that actually like made a need. difference. But I feel like if we don't listen to it, then there might be things that our character doesn't know. So I might have they to are. just. With the ban Go having taken his men hey, north, Shelley. the village is left to its fate. As well. We will evacuate it's as many as we can before still. the horde Somebody reaches us. Somebody turn off the sun. I will stay as long as I'm needed. Now, unless there's something else you need. If by my life or death I can protect you, I will. You have my sword, and my bow, and my axe. Indeed. 
Well, uh, I need more information. I'm just going to say this Certainly. in case there's anything that I missed. Um, any reason Other news? than the Darkspawn horde bearing down on us, none Who's of it is dating good. Who? Logan is set to declare himself king, I hear. Disaster piled on disaster. Oh dear, oh dear. Ba -ba -ba. What do you mean? Teon Logan has no legitimate claim on the throne. He I like how it gives you the option to support him as well. Queen, Even though he's plainly he wrong, you can be like, he's the hero. And the king's corpse is barely cold. Who is this returning? Ravi, Ravi, welcome back for two months far. of immortality. Two months of wisdom. An cottage, honor to have your soul run. back, Robbie. Welcome back. Do let me know what color you would like to be, and I will cast you on the game screen as well. You can keep us company throughout all of these conversations as we speed run conversations, old fashioned way. Welcome back, Robbie. A wisp returns. Month two is very important because you've just gone through your first month of wisdom and you've decided that immortality really is for you. So I'm glad. Welcome back. I never looked into the male romance options, though I imagine Sten would be odd but worthwhile choice. Who is Sten? It isn't who I'm currently talking to, is it? I have a question. Is the game also multiplayer? Not as far as I know. Um, single player, I believe. Did Inquisition... I feel like Inquisition had some multiplayer thing, but it wasn't full multiplayer. I could be wrong, though. What's wrong with our Our Eamon has he fallen ill. The sacred and his knights Andraste's are on a quest ashes. for the sacred urn filled with Andraste's ashes. Indeed. Said to cure any malady. He must be very ill if they chase miracles as the only cure. I think One Divinity, of the Arles Knights, Sir Donald, is here is searching the, uh, for fantasies. Well, never mind. When it comes Ask to him if you care about this foolishness. And like a co op RPG experience, that's really well done. I killed Make the bandits! Give me some money! Oh, yeah, it is worth talking to him because we can, we can tell him All that we killed him and he gives us silver. I like it's some money. It's true. I saw it from my post. It was over so fast, we didn't even oh, have time to get blimey. over there. Sad that it needed to come to that. But then they Sten asked for isn't it. isn't a romance option. Will you accept a small reward for your Sten? service? I forget his name. I was trying I to persuade him to pay more, to but truthful. he didn't take any of that. He take didn't have any money. Take your reward at any rate. It is all I have to offer. Right. If it interests you, there is a chanter's board outside full of quests that there's need doing. There's one quest. The chanter's even of offer paid for some of them. Now, unless there's something else you need. I should go. I need information. I love how we can carry on certainly. the conversation even more. Look, I've got nothing no, to ask. Unless there's something you else you need. You have nothing to tell me. I should. No, no, I need to bed to press. I should go. I should go. Travel safely. Goodbye. And may the maker watch over you. Alistair and Zevran are the male romances. Haven't met Zevran yet. Who? There we go, Sir Donald. I beg your pardon. He's going to talk to us for a long time. <laughs> Sir Donald, is that you? Alistair? I worry that the next By the of the maker, series is going to be you? I, I was certain you were dead. I haven't played Not them yet. all. Obviously, this is my no first Dragon Age, Logan. but I think it's regarded that well, number two was the dumpster fire. Soon enough. It would be very impressive so if they could make another the dumpster fire. Ashes, then. I mean, people, I a lot of people didn't like Inquisition, ashes are set to cure but I don't think it was illness. awful. But I fear we are chasing a fable that each day my hope anything. dims. Um, I was hoping to meet our Eamon. if I may ask? Because we need his health against Terry Logan. I see. The Arl is a popular. If anyone's man, just coming true. in, I accidentally Ten didn't mean to say. So we're having to go back to through all these conversations again. Whatever Make sure that we've done, done them. Not done, the Arl remains I loved Inquisition. It's a great game. There that you go. I think that this is definitely the most beloved of the series. And if it came down to like a competition between this one and Inquisition, most people say this one. Uh, do you think Loghain is involved in the Arl's illness? Ooh! The Arl fell ill before the king died. Well, Loghain could have planned that. If Loghain planned that too. Yeah, poisoning. Oh, such thoughts do not sit you, well You can with slowly me. poison somebody over a we course of a few months. We see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. Just adding a little bit in at a time. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesser is there, and she could tell you more than I could. Who's the Arlesser? I guess she's higher in the order than him. Um, Henrik's dead. Give him money. And you have his locket? Yes. He, he refuses to pay me. Maker's mercy. I can ask for money, but I think Thank he you would for hate giving me. me these. I would never have known otherwise. Well, I'm sorry. I dealt with the bandits, though. Thank you. I killed all the bandits that killed I my friend. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. I haven't finished Inquisition, but I fell in love with Origins. It is really 
good. I'm definitely getting a different feel because I've played the very, very, very start of Inquisition. There was like a, a free weekend on the Origin store and we played it on stream and I'm getting a very different feeling from this. I don't know. I just, I just feel like I'm much closer to the characters in this so far. So the quest for the ashes brought you here. I expect you to take Holy advantage ashes of the Chantry's library, in fact, anyone. but my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. Shouldn't you be fleeing the Darkspawn? My mission takes priority. But I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to show for my efforts. Probably not. Okay, well, I should go. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Goodbye. Thank you again, Goodbye. my lady. You have been most helpful. F5, F5, F5. F5 into the distance. There we go. Save game. And when the Maker spoke... Chant of light. So Gather. it's giving me a quest for the sacred ashes of Andraste, so they Will may you actually be exist. A donation to the Chantry, my friend. You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. I have nothing to offer. I understand. Not all are wealthy enough to spare even a few coins. I just need to meet her, favor. and then what can I do for you then? <laughs> then we've caught up to where we were. I'm a grey warden. I need a your help. Warden. Here, she'll still bless me. Oh dear. You put me in a but difficult position. You must know that Tern Loghain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. So I've heard that it is Loghain who betrayed the king. Tern Loghain? Mm. That is as hard for me to believe as his condemnation of the Wardens. There is a price on your head. Lay low and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That okay. is the best I can Everybody's do. been on our side now, so far here. Yeah. If there is nothing else, then... Can you provide me any help at all? I was just, I'll just For take the blessing. Warden. I know she's going to say yes. she won't help us though. You have a difficult Redcliffe is important walk, in Inquisition. Ooh. Is Redcliffe the in like, name, main city I you go to the maker in to watch Inquisition over his with the cathedral? Watch over her path, oh maker. I remember going there. Her life I don't know if it was Redcliffe though. There was like a original place so that you go to. Be. Now, <laughs> if there is nothing else, I cannot help you without yeah. risking she the can't help of us. this village enchantment. Otherwise, he would come the down. The best I can do village. is keep your presence a secret. I am sorry. Now, Boom. if there is nothing else, there is nothing else, and she'll may the maker cannot guard you, be bothered to help us. So there we go. We did it. We did it, and we had the chest key for well, this, right. and, and so we I can shall. take the health fortress and the iron ring. Yay! We did it. I'm very grateful. I don't want that iron ring anyway. Got my wedding ring on. My He's wedding ring is much more important. There we go. F5. We did it. We saved. And now we're up to date where we were before. As you desire. Mission accomplished. And I guess we now go this way. <gasps> now the textures are fixed. We can see the houses. It was just a black so void before. Oh, we're having moment. the mother conversation. I'd rather talk Again. about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. To you, perhaps. You would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates. <laughs> mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. Oh, you did no. not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. Oh, yes. oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. Wow. Wow. What a guy. What a guy. Always got time for some Morrigan snark. The best of snarks. She no, wants us to make traps, stranger. But I, I cannot make a trap. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. No. No. Sorry, I can't make traps. Uh, I didn't mean to bother you. I'm very bothered. Sorry. How dare you. I guess if we do learn how to make them, we know where to go. Just how smart are Mabari supposed to be anyway? Real smart. Do you think they understand everything we say? <laughs> oh, is that so? You could just be listening to the tone of my voice. You could be an utter moron for all we know. <laughs> They're very hey, clever, now. these dogs. Oh. There's nothing saying that a moron can't be cute and adorable. Who's the cute and adorable puppy? Orcspawn for president. I agree wholeheartedly with this. Orcspawn, do you see anything interesting? 
go. Find me. Find me more cake. Oh, he's giving me cake again. Oh, thank you. Uh, cake. Excellent. Good boy. I like cake. Good boy. Oh, he's the best doggo. Get a cake pipeline set up. Yeah, just every time you come here, I'll ask him for more cake. Don't think that's useful for us, so I'm gonna leave it. I got XP for just unlocking it though. Elder Miriam! Ah, this is who everybody was talking about. So there's no official like command for this town, but the people consider her to be in charge. She is the elder. You got a bed for the night. Hi, Django. You taken care of. <coughs> oh no, she's ill. Um, you think I'm a refugee? Actually, I was more hoping that I could help you. Don't need blades right now. We need beds, food, and an end to all these sad sots. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or I herbs. do, actually, yes. I know a bit about herbalism. Then you may be able to do us a I lot can make of potions, good. actually. All make manner of travellers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. Oh dear. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all Give you need to know money. in this note here. Every last penny. Okay. So we're getting a lot of quests to, like, go out of the city. How dare you accuse me of thievery? I saw you take the supplies uh -oh, from I'm my saving. <laughs> Any kind of controversial situation I see, I'm like, oh. never stoop to petty theft. You marsh folk are all thieves and liars. Oh, no. Enough. People here are already desperate and frightened. They don't need you two coming to blows. But what about my food? I said enough! Oh dear. They don't trust each other. Hello, will you In the wilds we are eaten, here we starve. Is there no end to our fortune? Oh dear. Nobody's very happy here at all. Don't know if you figured it out, but escape skips dialogue. Ah, no, I didn't figure it out. I thought it would be spacebar, because most games it's spacebar. But yeah. Escape, good to know. We need to do any dialogue catch up in the future. This looks like it could be an inn, I think. Sounds like me if I were in town guard armor. Enough, get along, kids. Get along. Well, look what we have here, men. I think we've just been blessed. Uh oh, low gains, men. This can't be good. Oh no. Didn't we spend all morning asking about an elf by this very description? Oops. And everyone said they hadn't seen one. It seems we were lied to. Uh -oh. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. Hello. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Looks like he wants a fight. I am happy to oblige. What makes you think we're traitors? I don't need your help, miss. Stand back. Let's talk about this before things get out of hand. I think they're unreasonable anyway, but I'm going to try. I doubt he would listen. He blindly follows his master's commands. I am not the blind one. I served at Ostagar, where the turn saved us from the Grey Warden's treachery. I serve him gladly. Enough talk. Take the Warden into custody. Oh, God. Kill the sister and anyone else that gets in your way. <sighs> right, let's make this quick. Here we go! Combat time! So this lady doesn't seem to be joining our party. Oh! Leliana! Leliana? Oh well, she doesn't seem to be in our party. But she will help us. I am going to GTFO and stand back. back. I think we, we should still have... Um, we should still have Alistair program to be Defender. There we go. And Morrigan just goes for it. Mori, you should probably get back here though, because you don't wanna you don't wanna be over there. That's no fun. I've also got double damage. Oh, this new ability. Crippling shot. Yes. You can stun me now. It's gonna be too easy. Nobody else is joining in the bar fight. Oh! Oh, Alistair, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I kind of forgot about you. One, we surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson, and we can all stop fighting. Everybody's just covered in blood. I don't want them reporting to Logan. The Grey Wardens didn't betray King Kaelin. Logan did. They butcher us. 
They deserve no mercy. Take a message to Logan. Oh, I don't know. I feel like he's, he's going to know exactly where we are if we let him go. I'm going to tell them the truth. Grey Wands didn't betray the king. Logan did. I was there. The turn pulled us out of a trap. Oh, hi, Tech. Welcome, welcome. I've not been getting into bar fights. Not me. I'm innocent of these crimes. The Terran left the king to die. The wardens led the king to his death. The Terran could do nothing. <sighs> I kind of want to kill him, I'm not going to lie. But I think he just saw the wrong end of the situation. If only we could explain. Take a message to Logan. What do you want to tell him? The Grey Wardens know what really happened. He'll pay for what he's done. We're coming for him. The Grey Wardens know. I'll tell him. We right know. Now. Thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. Is she supposed to have an accent of some kind? And who are you anyhow? Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana. Liliana. One of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. I think she's supposed to have an accent. Or oh, somebody's just doing a very bad British. I'm not sure. I think she's supposed to have a slight lilt on her accent. And is there something you wanted from me? Those men said you're a Grey Warden. I am. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. Oh, um... Why so he get to come with us? These men were mistaken. I'm no Grey Warden. Definitely not. What is this? Archie! Oh, yeah. A new wisp approaches! Welcome to the wisps, Archie. I am honored to have your soul. Do enjoy your 30 days of immortality. And I will very gladly take that soul from you. Do come and join our Discord. We have a sub-only Discord that you can come and join. Just link up your Discord and your Twitch accounts to come and join the Wisp Discord over there. We also have a Minecraft server and a Trouble in Terrorist Town server. If you ever want to use those, feel free to. And of course, the most important question. What colour is your soul? You can go for your favourite colour, that's what most people do, but this is essentially your new immortal form. You're now a wisp. You can choose any rainbow colour, or black, or white, or grey, and I will cast you somewhere on the game screen for the rest of today's stream. Thank you so much, Archie. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the sub-community. We have a very close-knit and also crazy sub-community. You'll fit right in. Going for green. I shall cast you as green. Just a slight tingling sensation. Don't worry, that's just me gently ripping the soul from your body. But it'll be over very shortly. Joining Team Green. Team Green is a popular choice today. Friday is obviously a Team Green day. And I'm going to pop you just up there. Welcome to the Wisps. A new soul approaches. I am honoured to have it. Well, Leilana approved. Liliana. Liliana. I'm never going to say her name right. Liliana is Ulysian. Supposed to sound vaguely French. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling that. There's a slight lilt sometimes. Why is it you get to come with me? The maker told me to. The maker is on my side? Welcome aboard then. Right. I believe this is where I back away very slowly. Wow. Can you elaborate? I... I know that sounds absolutely insane, but it's true. I had a dream, a vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. <laughs> Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair, and this darkness, this chaos, will spread. Thanks for the follow, Stormcrow. The Maker Welcome. doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. Very well. I will not turn away when help is offered. I just, I, I think we're already at party max. Is party max not four? I need more than prayers, I'm afraid. You feel sorry for the people. Help them here. I will not turn away when help is offered. I think she might be a healer, so... Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than mother thought. 
Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Just her face covered in blood. Oh no, that means I have to swap someone out. I don't want to swap someone out. Do I, do I have to? There's only four spots, right? You have a, a slight smudge on your face. Here, have a hanky. Everyone's just coated in blood after every battle. You don't have to. It seems like there's four slots, but maybe I can just press accept. Ah. Okay, so it's a case of swapping people in and out. Uh, I can bring her in wherever. I'm kind of curious to see what she's like, so... Blast and damnation! <laughs> she did not like me unpicking Indeed. her, I'm sorry. Blast it. Indeed. They get annoyed if you remove them. I feel like she could be my sister. She honestly could be my sister. Yes. I'm gonna have a look at her abilities and just see what kind of character she is. Um, if I can. Oh, sorry, Bork. Didn't mean to bring you out there. Oh. Oh, she seems to have a few of the same abilities as me. As well, she's got some ranged abilities. Yeah, she's, she's a rogue. Is she? I am on her, right? Not me. Yeah. No, she's a rogue. She's... I did not think she would be like that. I thought she would be like a cleric and a, a healer. But apparently, she's all into her stealing and her poison making and her backstabbing. So there we go. So I honestly don't currently feel there's a need for her in our party. Because yes. that's what I do. I don't think she does have trap making. That would be useful. Yeah, there are only three classes, but there's a lot of variation like in Rogue as well. Of course. She's kind of the same as me. She's got some ranged spells. A bard, technically. She did have like a rallying cry to buff other people as well, so that makes sense. She's far more than a rogue. Oh, have we not even unveiled her true abilities? Hi, Willy Massacre. This game. Everybody's coming in here getting nostalgic. I've made people boot up Dragon Age by playing this. You're here about food. Take it up with that blade and run the Oh, I'm yeah, he's the one who has gear, poison so. traps. Show me what you got. Know of any well-paying work in Lothering? You're out of food? A whole mess of refugees come in and leave oh, me every me. night. All have hungry bellies, sad tails, and mementos for barter. I sold that bleed merchant outside about half my larder two weeks back, and now he's charging outrageous sums for all my food. Oh dear. And the merchant is getting away with it. Jealous you didn't think of it first? Hardly. <laughs> oh, maybe you can't take her so I cool, think he probably would have But I'm not going to beg her everyone comes by for a loaf of bread. I'll see what I can do about the merchant. You will? Seems, seems kind of mean to rack up but prices when people are desperate. It. So, I'm with you there. What goods do you have? Also, will you buy some of my shite that I'm carrying around? I have no mages and I have lyrium potions, so... I mean, technically, like, maybe Morrigan can use them. But I don't need any of these things that I currently have. I don't think. I've got all these old bows that I don't need anymore. These gloves that I can't use. Actually, maybe those leather gloves were useful for me. I'm just going to check through and, and make sure there's not any gear that I can actually wear before I sell them. That would be sensible. Game Sage, welcome on in. Thanks for the follow. I still have this on laptop. I got it from Humble for 99p. Oh, I, lo I love and also hate how cheap old games are because they're so, so good. But because of their age, you can get them so cheaply, which is great because people can enjoy them. Reduces hostility. My boots reduce hostility. Okay. Um, in check. So there were some gloves and things. Studded leather armor. Two cured. Yes. I think that's better. Yes. Yeah, that's just a straight up upgrade. How about the boots? Yeah, not sure the boots do anything for me. Oh, and I'm not wearing any gloves, so those were good for me. Got a lot of rubbish in here, though. Enchanted dagger. 
Oh, damn. Maybe I should put an enchanted dagger on one, one hand. Yeah. Now I've got an enchanted dagger and a boring pleb dagger. Beautiful. Anything that Morrigan could use. If I look at those Lyrian potions, she can use the Lyrian potions. They're basically mana potions, I guess. Any good gear for Morrigan? I don't think so. Oh, there's a, there's a cap. Willpower and mental resistance. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, Morrigan. I mean, it's not the best fashion choice that you've ever made, I've got to say. But just look at it this way, it's making you smarter. It's, it's definitely making you smarter. It literally just looks like she's taken an oven mitt and dropped it on her head. Fashion of the highest quality. Yeah, it's literally the best thing she can wear right now, so I'm sorry. I can give you this willpower ring as well, and this, this other ring if you really want to wear it. There. Enjoy! Oh, I feel so bad for her. I put her through so much. What's he got currently? Warden's Grey Sword. Warden's Long Sword, made of grey iron. I don't think we're going to get anything better than that. There's a balanced Grey Sword. 11 damage, lower crit chance, higher your arm penetration, and a strength modifier. Maybe that is better for you. I felt like the warden should be better. But it isn't. Oh, the crit chance is higher, but that's pretty much the only thing, so... I guess I sell everything! You're here about food. Oh, Take it up got, with that has he got another quest for me? I've got other gear to sell. Have you now? Know of any well-paying work in Lothering? Check the chanter's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? Oh, <clears throat> I don't suppose you know anything about uh, poison. A little bit, maybe. I've dabbled in such things. I figured if I kept asking, I'd find someone. I'd pay good coin for some simple poison. Something to slow them beasties down or make them think twice. See what I can do. Thanks. I might have some ingredients in stock. Ah, so I can buy them from him as well. Know I love the dwarves in Dragon Age. I haven't met a dwarf yet. That will be exciting when we meet one of those. She's gonna sell everything that I don't need. I think I, if I have it equipped, it won't be in my inventory, right? So I'm okay to sell it. Darkspawn staff. Morrigan, is that good for you? Yes, yes. Darkspawn staff is very much better for her. So I will give her that. Converts all damage to fire damage. Requires 20 strength. Can Alistair use this? Can't use it either. I'm curious. I'm just gonna get rid of all of this stuff. I'm gonna make some good monies. This blood dragon plate I can't wear yet, but I think that's gonna be very useful. Picked up so much stuff. Archie! Archie, thank you for the 10 biddies. Glorious shiny biddies. Alistair is a sword and shield specialist. Pro tank mode. Oh, yeah. Technically, wait, was that sword that I sold one-handed? Because I thought it was a big two-hander, that's why I took it off him. Oh, it says main hand, okay. I thought that one was a two-hander. Oh, I should probably give it back to him, because I have specced him as tank, so good shout. Good shout. I was like, why is he using that if this one's also one-handed and does more damage? But yeah, no, I should give him his shield back as well. I think I may have sold his shield. Oh no, he had the Templar shield. We're all good! Don't worry. We won't deprive Alistair of his weapons. Poison, or you're here to see my stock. A very rich culture of the dwarves. Be nice to meet one. Show me what you got. Warden's Oath. Spirit resistance. God, so much stuff. Weapon runes. I guess I can just apply them. Frost rock. Small bonus to ice resistance. Huh. Interesting. Okay. I'm just gonna have a look then and go through. It's fine! Totally didn't nearly murder Alistair. Totally not. Oh yeah, Morrigan. That's what I was gonna do. God, she looks so silly. Okay. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'll give you the, the 
star thing. There you go. Is that does that make the whole silly hat situation better? Do you play D and D? Yes, I have played D and D in the past. I've played a few different campaigns. I love D and D. It's kind of like the essence of why I love games as well. You know, being able to be part of the story and do anything you like. Apart from in D and D, you can literally just do anything. And I mean, the DM is the game system, so they decide whether it's possible or not. It's up to you. Mother says we have to run before the bad men get here. Well, I managed to sell some things. Hello, Dunal. You're gonna make more trouble. Oh, you got good moustache, ain't you? About all we can stand in Lothering now. Sorry about the mess. I'm not here to make trouble. Well, those boys were trouble themselves, to tell the truth. Mm. Right then, hey, Miss Dunal. Sorry, I can't chat much. As you see, we before haps. I don't suppose you have any rooms. Oh, I can stay here. Have you heard any rumours? I hear news good from rumors. Dinnerham that Tian Logain has been declared the new regent. It makes sense. His daughter being the queen. It don't make Anything no sense at all. She should be in charge. Who were those men I fought exactly? When Tian Logain marched by, he left those fellas behind to look for Grey Wardens. Oh dear. I suppose that's you. Well, they're dead now, so it's cool. Um, yeah, it is. I have no qualm with you, whatever the turn says. My grandfather, sir. Everybody respects me in this town. What can I get you then? Your dad did introduce you to D and D when you were really young. Blossomed into a huge love of RPGs. There's nothing quite like RPGs. Just the sense of imagination and adventure. Yes, tab highlights everything lootable. I don't know if I want to go stealing this stuff though. They sometimes get mad about it. Any more rumors? I heard from some travelers that something bad might have happened in Redcliffe. Oh, God. Overrun by Darkspawn. Not again. There's no word from the village at all. A merchant friend of mine said he encountered someone fleeing the place and there was nothing waiting for him there but death. He wisely turned around and came right back. Anything else I can get you? A uh, stiff drink. Heard any other rumors? I hear the Dwarven oh, King has passed on. He's got some he's Old got as some he real was, rumors. he was probably poisoned or assassinated. That's how the Dwarves normally go out. Isn't it? Grim. Anything else I can get you? Heard any other rumors? In fact, the maker oh, we didn't so lose Tian Logan at Ostagar. He pulled his troops out just would have been better time, if he died, so but he didn't. Without him, we'd be lost. Anything else I can get you? Well, um, heard any other rumors? I hear that Tian Logan, yeah. the region, is calling for new levies of troops. He wants to rebuild the army we lost at Ostagar. Thing oh, is, Ostagar. there's not a lot of spare men to be found. Out of Dragon's Peak, there's press gangs roaming around, grabbing any free man they can lay their hands on. Anything else I can get you? Heard any other rumors? I hear tell they held a funeral in oh dinner. He's just King such King. a gossip. The Grand he could do this for forever. Day of we should morning, just leave him a on a loop. A mile long passing by the Brazi. It's too bad they don't have a body to properly burn. What happened to him at the hands uh. of those creatures? It's unthinkable. Anything else I can get you? Any other rumors? I think I'm done with the rumors for now. Thank you. You've been most informative. I'll be going. Luck speed your way. Thank you. What a gossip. XOXO Danal. He knows everything that's going on in this town. But I'm going to take a brief respite in this inn for a moment. We're going to have a really quick break. I will be right back very shortly. Hopefully you can supervise Doggo. Because he's always he's always going off and finding strange things and giving them to me. So supervise Doggo. I shall return very shortly. Don't engage in any more rumours with that man. He seems like the town gossip. Very vacuums.
Why, hello there, Humes. Welcome back. I return once again. Have they been behaving themselves here? Has he, has he peed on the floor? Has he tried to eat anyone's bones? There are some tasty looking bones on the floor. We can actually tell him to eat those bones. If we want, we can just be like, clean up this mess, doggo. No, not this time, apparently. It's probably because we're in like a, a public place that he can't do it. Good box spawn. Good box spawn. Man, we really need a shower. All of us are just covered in blood from head to toe. I don't know why anyone takes this seriously. I mean, Alistair is more covered in blood. I'm spotless right now. Oh my god, Morrigan, I'm so sorry. Yes? What have I done to you? <laughs> she looked so sexy before, and now I've ruined her look entirely. She's just like, not impressed. Not impressed by this situation at all. So we'll find you a nice outfit, Morrigan. He'll look better than ever. He's a good boy, even if he's covered in jam. He's definitely, definitely jam. Now she's aerodynamic and sexy. Yeah, like a sexy dolphin. Everyone loves a sexy dolphin, Morrigan. Everyone loves a sexy... She's just like judging me now. Fine. We'll find you a new hat. In a few years, I promise. And so I shall. And so I shall. My character voice is a little bit husky. Had to be swimming, yeah, exactly. Swimming. Well, even the Grey Wardens didn't make it out of that place down south. Team I heard he saw just in time what those Grey Wardens were doing and saved his men. He's a hero, that's what he is. Too bad he couldn't save poor King Caitlin. Oh, right, greetings, your bloody gossips. Well, they treated me respectfully. They're all greetings, milady. Normally they're like, ah, bloody elf. But I'm glad that they're being polite to me. I'm glad. Now, where's this merchant he's yapping on about? There was some merchant who was selling the goods on for much higher prices outside, apparently. But if he was, he don't seem to I be here. My, I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it would be safe. It's not safe. Nowhere's safe. Not what the docks warn about. There's a few other quests around here as well. I'm going to have a look. Hello? The Ashkari turned to a laborer for Hello? Excuse me? I mean, he started saying something then. You want one of my captors? I, am I have not. nothing to say that would amuse you, elf. Leave me in peace. You're a prisoner. Who put you here? I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by oh, the Chantry. Oh, did you actually do anything I wrong? I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. I'm Yena, pleased to meet you. And just what are you doing in there, then? I have been convicted of murder. Have the villagers not spoken of this? Who did you murder? Are you guilty? Are you asking if I feel guilt or if I am responsible for the deed? However I feel, whatever I've done, my life is forfeit now. Oh dear. Aren't you interested in seeking atonement? If you feel guilty about the murder, why did you do it? Who did you murder? The people of a farm hold. Eight humans, in addition to the children. I don't think he did it, did he? That's horrible. Yeah, that is horrible. He also thinks it's horrible. Deathy! Oh my gosh, death, what? 24 months of immortality. That is several human years now that we have had your soul. Thank you for always remaining a loyal wisp, deathy, and welcome back 24 months. And not only that, at a glorious tier three level, the death has returned. Death says, my queen, I have served you for three years and three years of glory it has been. May I always be the guardian you deserve and may I always be here with you. Is for three years and many more, my elf queen. Love from your chaos leader, Deathy. All of the elf love. Can we get some love up in chat for Deathy? It has been a long time that you have served, and you have served faithfully indeed. Thank you for always remaining by my side. I will take great pleasure in casting you as a wisp this month and an extra shiny wisp. 24 months is three years. Technically, Death has known me for longer, longer than two years. 
Well, this description only became available when affiliate ship became a thing. And as soon as it did, death was on that so fast. And we have another form of death returning. In Death We Return is also back for five months. Wow, the, the death people have really banded together this month. Are you working together in some kind of coup or something? Death, welcome back for five months as well. Death and death. I'm going to have to call one of you deathy and one of you death. This is what it's going to come down to. Thank you so much for five months, death. And deathy. Death and deathy, welcome back. Much love to you both. Do let me know what colour wispies you'd like. I think it's either going to be black or red. It's usually either black or red for Death Marks Ninja. But in Death Through Return is another question. We are not sure. Team Purple, yes. In the Death these moments. And we've got Haze coming back as well. Haze, 14 months. Thank you for supporting an alpha that long. All the love! Let us just fill this chat with hype and love. Welcome on in. What is this 14 months? How has it been that long, Haze? And thank you for returning your soul loyally every single month. I will always take care of it. And Haze, the same decision falls to you. Which colour team are you going to support? It's been a while! Over a human year. That is quite something. That is quite something. Oh, Deathy's going red this month. And we've got Team Purple for Death Through Return. And I think Haze is going to be purple, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And I will just cast both of you. You're going to hang out on the game screen for the rest of today's stream. So one of you will be Deathy and one of you will be Death, just so we don't get any arguments. We have got a great big tenderly red soul coming up for our Death Ninja. I'm going to pop you... Next to Banana, he can supervise your deathy needs. And there we go. Beautiful soul up there. And then we also have a lovely purple soul coming in. Haze is going purple as well. Yes, purple. We will take over eventually. Okay. So I'm going to put you... We'll add a bit more colour to this group of very bright wisps over here. There we go. And then we've got Haze to cast as well. You should be very used to the soul casting sensation by now. Just a little tingle and then the glory of immortality. I'm going to pop you just over here. Welcome back Haze as well. We've made like a little team purple compound over here just to fend off the other wispies. I'm Death. You're Death and Death Ninja is Deathy. Deathy. I just logged on and my three-year-old daughter lit up and said, It's an elf! You just made her day! Hi, Mini Tacti! Hi! I am indeed an elf! I am indeed an elf. Some of the humans find it hard to believe, but it's true. It's true. Aw, Mini Tacti sounds adorable. I'm glad she now knows the existence of elves. Many small children don't doubt the existence of elves. It's just later on when they're told we're all stories. I'm Deathy. You name me that. Mm-hmm. It is true. I'm currently playing Dragon Age 2 after completing Origins. What do you think so far? Obviously I haven't played any Dragon Age games before apart from this one, but a lot of people don't like number two. I don't know what they did wrong. How long have you been here? 20 days now. I shouldn't last much longer, another week at most. It's a long time to live without food or water. Compared to your kind, maybe. Aren't you interested in seeking atonement? Death will be much as than you. Is it just me or were the audio lines mixed up mixed up then? He was like, death has be much as than you, rather than saying, death will be my atonement. Am I the only one that heard that? That was that was really strange. I don't know what's up with his audio lines. There are other ways to redeem yourself. Perhaps. What does your wisdom say is equal to my crime? You could help me defend the land against the blight. I'm on a quest of great importance. Why do you care, so long as you're free? The blight? Are you a Grey Warden? He doesn't then? seem evil, though. Why do you ask? My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Why is he killing you, though? I suppose though? not every legend is true. Would the Revered Mother let you free? 
Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance. He didn't explain Seems himself though. To bring my I don't really feel comfortable here. with him joining the party because like he was like straight up Farewell, like yeah. Then. A penitent I killed everyone. man left to be torn to pieces by Darkspawn. Tis a fine example of the Chantry's mercy, is it not? He still won't tell us why he killed them. I'm not convinced he did kill them. But we shall see. Got so many quests here. So many quests. I feel like I'm going out of the town now. I kind of want to see if we can go into this windmill though. See if there's anything up there. We don't know what was said. Oh. You're a warden. Uh, I don't know if you killed King Kalen, and make her forgive me, I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Oh no. Attack! <laughs> no, 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 surely we can reason here. Oh god, I didn't quick save. <laughs> I didn't know we were going to be attacked. Look, look, okay. If you can go up and give me good tanking, that would be great. And then me and Morrigan are gonna run the F away. We're gonna, we're gonna go over here and do our range stuff. Apparently that's not an option. They're all coming for us. Uh, I can swap weapon sets and then I've got daggers. So I can do some damage range. Four of them on me. Do something. Oh god, there was like so many of them over there. Yeah, I'm just being mobbed now. Morrigan's useful though, she's, she's doing some good spells. Oh, oh, this man needs a cultist. Someone get that man a cultist. Kill them all, stop closing. Say that you killed them. I wonder if we could claim our own bounty whenever we go to this other city where they tell us that we're all monsters. Doggo's in trouble! I wonder if Doggo can take normal health potion. Can he take normal health poultice? I guess he is a creature just like us. Doggo can administer health poultice and take it himself. I'm proud. Cool! We're doing so much better now that we have more again. She's so useful. Lovely. Lovely. I love killing people. My character is remorseless. Ooh, short bow. Tier two. Plus one damage, minus one dexterity. I might take that. Thank you very much. And so I shall. Frozen lightning. Mannery potion again. Time for human killing. They were not up for reasoning. Wasn't my fault. They just they didn't want to talk. They did not want Oh my god, there's more of them. What the heck? We take the high ground! It doesn't really seem like they've noticed us yet though. I don't think. So does that mean we just get free attacks? Filthy rogues. Oh, they have archers as well. Go on, do your worst. Get down there. Oh, I don't want to go in for a melee. I always press that by mistake. I might have to swap weapon sets again. So I've got my bow and arrow, and then I've also got this second dagger weapon set that I use if they get up in my face. So if they come and bother me, I can just stab them back. It's very useful. There you go. Oh, oh, did that even... Did he interrupt my poultice? What? I think my poultice was interrupted. Oh my god, I've got an arrow through my face. Poultice? Poultice again? There we go. So you can pause time as well and kind of re jiggle what people are in the party. Oh no, we have to kill another Mabari! Also, he needs poultice. Thank the gods for poultice. I would have not got through any of this game if poultice didn't exist as a thing. Dragon Age 2, I love it. The story's amazing without spoiling anything. One quest managed to both creep me out and almost made me cry. Aww. They have done the story very well so far in this one. Okay, swapping back to bow and arrow then. Oh, swap. He needs healing again. How much poultice am I going to have to waste on you, Alistair? How much poultice? Yeah, 
we should just kill them all. That's the perfect solution. Kill them all. A little bit of murder never hurt anyone. Ta-da! Well, to be fair, they did attack us first, so... It's all right and proper. And we get to free steal free stuff, so... It's all good. What else have they got on them? More health poultice? I would gladly take some more health poultice. Lesser health poultice. There you go. Okay, well, uh, it pays to be attacked by bandits, apparently. I think if we go this way, we're kind of moving outside of the town. Yeah. Oh my god, again, really? Who wants my blood now? Who wants some? Oh, they're over there. Okay. <laughs> more bandits! Lovely. Come at me. Right, Alistair, you better do something this time. Go on. Go on, you too, Mabari. Get that one. Oh no, no, Mabari. I might use the doggos to kind of like keep us safe. Like grab their attention. What can he do? Oh, he can stun. He can howl and stun enemies. I could just play as a doggo all the time. Like, this is actually possible. Oh god, Alistair's dead. I knew I should have kept a better eye on him. But it's okay, we have Doggo. Doggo solves every problem. Come on! Mabari's not doing well either. Lesser health poultice? I may have to either make some more poultice or buy a ton of poultice again. I swear, so many fights in this game I just can't get through without poultice. In. And then we take out the last guy with bow and arrow. Oh god, there's two more. <gasps> the Mabari's down! No! They'll go down! I think Alistair was dying so quickly because he had an injury. So every time a character goes down in battle, they're revived, but they wake up with an injury and you usually have to use an injury kit. But I kind of forgot he had that wrong with him. I guess I might go daggers because obviously they're weak to melee if they're ranged or at least that's how it normally works so we stunned him and i need to heal myself oh god do i not have anything oh no <laughs> why does everybody want to kill me can i use herbalism while i'm in combat i can yes i can so while i'm being attacked in the face with arrows apparently my character is just very casually Throwing together some herbs, bring bring a nice uh, nice potion. Easy. She helping. In her own way, she's helping. Oh god, Nemo poultice. Oh my god, why are they so tough? He's got daggers as well. What's this? You steal from him, which isn't actually very useful right now. Uh, just stab him. Just, just go for the stabbages. Yes. Okay. Now one more guy. Is that it? Oh, we made it. We made it. So the Mabari is up now, but he has head trauma. Dogo has head trauma, and Alistair is up, but he has open wounds. He has a cracked skull and a crushed arm. So he's not faring too well. I kind of wonder if we stay at the inn whether it cures their condition damages. So I, I might go and inquire as to how much the inn costs to stay for the night. Because he is messed up beyond belief. Poor Alistair. How much will your finest room cost me? And also, the innkeeper wants me to make po poison for him. So I will happily make some. Oh, 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 Dragon Age just crashed. Out of nowhere on the loading screen, it just crashed. What happened to you? How did I hurt you, Dragon Age? Oh no, we're gonna have to do all those fights again. Oh no, oh no. F for Dragon Age, I know. Let's see where it autosaved last, for where I pressed F5 last. Life been a while ago. Hopefully, I think we got an autosave before we went to that area because obviously somebody was going to attack us. We can talk again. Wait, did chat go down? I thought you were all being very quiet. 
not causing trouble like usual. It was very suspicious. Hi, Ratchet. Welcome on in. Potion seller. I require your strongest potions. Indeed. I will not give him my strongest potions, though. I reserve them for myself. Of course. Ah, it says before we talk to this guy. So we can do those fights again, apparently. Hello. You want one of my captors? I am not. I have nothing to say that would amuse you, Elf. Leave me in peace. Who put you here? I am Sten you already of the talked Barisan, to him. The vanguard of the Kunari people. What are you doing I have in been there? Convicted of murder. Have the villagers not spoken of this? Who did you the murder? Eight home. humans and their Eight children. Humans, in addition to the children. That is horrible. And he agrees it's horrible, but then he says he doesn't feel guilty feel. about it. So However I'm really confused. Feel, whatever I've done, what? my life is forfeit now. Was it revenge for something that they did to his family, maybe? Why did he do it? Either you have an enviable memory or a pitiable life to know nothing of regret. Okay. Death will be He regrets natural. what he did? My potions are too strong for you, traveler. Indeed. There are other ways Perhaps. to redeem yourself. What does your wisdom say? You could Blood. help me defend. Are you a Grey Warden? Where do you ask? I've heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Perhaps and we asked if, if the Reverend the Mother would let him free, and he was like, then. maybe. A penitent man if you said you needed me. To pieces by Darkspawn. It is a fine example of the Chantry's mercy, is it not? It is not. Let me go. So, quick save coming in there. And then, I guess we go and fight all of these guys again. I'm gonna see if I can go help. We got completely surrounded. There's so many here, but we did get through the fight before. Before we go in, I guess I could just make a ton of lesser health poultice. Am I out of elf fruit? Oh, I always thought it had some, some good elf fruit, but apparently I don't have as much as I thought. I manually save all the time, since sometimes my game crashes or I run out of potions. I just, I need to have that all the time, my finger on F5, after every fight, basically. King so they're gonna attack. They don't care if we said sorry. They're gonna go for us. Hang on, what, what is going on? Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Uh, Morrigan needs to get out of there and just like be in her own little space over here. And then, how can I help with this situation? We're being flanked right now so badly. Get off, Morrigan. Leave my waifu alone. I'm not a tank. I feel very uncomfortable in this situation. Let me just, there we go. There we go. I like to be an elf mage in this game. I nearly went mage. But then, of course, I had to go like stereotypical elven archer. Oh my god! Wait, I need I need a health poultice as well. I would love to find a healer for our group. That would be nice. How dare you touch Mara again? Get off her! She's so useful as well. I don't want her to be uh, mobbed by people. I went better than the first time though, I've got to say. Nobody went down. And we got some more loots. So I'll take all of these. Those Bioware camera angles, they're quite something, aren't they? They're beautiful. You find no better mage than elf mage. I would agree. The dog isn't the healer, I'm shocked. He should be tossing out As like tasty fire. treats to everybody. Oh yeah, we worked out that that short bow was pretty good for me. I should probably switch. Is a short bow gone? Eh, plus one damage, but I get minus one dex. I'll take the damage, thanks. I'm good. I'll take the damage. Scooby snack, plus 50 HP. Yeah, he should be chucking out Scooby snacks every five seconds. So these guys started combat with us. And I sent him down there to like deal with them. Doggo also needs to like go and deal with some other doggos. Doggo v Doggo. And then me and Morrigan can just stand up here merrily sniping. Or at least that's the plan. He seems to be losing health very fast. Far too fast. Doggo actually used growl. He tries. 
He tries to be good doggo. Oh my god, his health, really. I oh, know he's been stunned. There we go. Now he can take the poultice. We need a healer! Healer! I'm gonna cripple the Mabari down there as well. It's nearly dead. He needs some real armor. He really does. He really does. I haven't come across anything better than his standard gear yet. It's gotta be something. Oh! Juicy, juicy. There we go. He nearly went down. Nearly, nearly, nearly. There we go. There we go. That was a lot better than last time. Hi, sick. Welcome on in. Yeah, he's wearing like whatever we found. Cardboard, cardboard doesn't make good armor. I had some old Amazon boxes, so I was like, Alistair, do you want these? You seem a bit naked at the moment, so have these. Not that I minded him being naked. Oh, oh, there's still somebody alive. Kill them. I haven't found any real value with Mavari Hound. He's actually a decent ally. I always preferred the controllable archer instead. I like him aesthetically as well. I feel like we have a deep connection, me and Bork. And I just, I'd hate to leave him. He, he has very basic abilities, but we just have a really nice relationship. I feel he's worth it. He's covered in jam at the moment, but don't mind that. But I don't think I've met anyone yet who uh, I wanted to replace him with. We did meet Leliana, and everybody's like, hey, you could, could swap out for Leliana. Could, could swap out for her. But I feel like she does mostly the same things as my main character does. So it doesn't make sense having her in the party, at least right now. If she could heal, that would be a different story. But I don't think she can. Always need more poultice. Okay, now we know there are some more over here, so I'm gonna send him in to start off with. They will just attack us, so we may as well go in. Mabari! Get him! See, yeah, Mabari has like a growl, and uh, I don't think he can heal himself at all. Yeah, he will just howl, and it stuns people. It's a stunning howl. God! Alistair, please! He tries so hard to be a tank, but he's just not built for it. Poor guy. I feel for him, I really do. I'm constantly making him chug poultices. He's gonna get poultice overdose soon. He's not doing well. Need to build his strength so he can wear better armor. I've basically just been specking him into strength so far. It doesn't seem to have made much of a difference. <laughs> Need to come across better armor first, I guess. Come on, guys, there's, there's still people attacking us. You can have another poultice. I'm gonna need to buy so much poultice. The merchants in this town are gonna love me. Is chat working here? It looks like it stopped working a few minutes ago. I just thought everybody was being really quiet because I was in combat, but um, it's back again. It's back, Storm. Of course. Did we get them all? Yeah. Nicely done, my friends. Nicely done. Killed every last single one of them. So I guess we go about loots. Loots. Heavy chainmail is most fashionable. And see if we can find him some like really heavy armor. There we go. It saved my game. Now we don't have to go back again if the game crashes. Alistair, behold my cardboard sword and cardboard armor. The enemy's like. Ah. Did you speak to that knight yesterday? When I went into this inn before it crashed, just trying to load this in. It's obviously too much goodness inside of here. Hey, Bochi, Twitch won't let you share your resub. No, Twitch chat was just balked for a second, so it might be to do with that. Hopefully, it will let you share it in a second, but thank you so much for pledging your soul again, Bochi. I appreciate it. 
How many months what did they have? Uh, what am I doing? I don't know. I'll be going. Luck speed your way. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. 11 months. Nearly. Nearly at that year milestone. See if it lets you share it again, but we'll see. Hey, cats. Another stream was just complaining about Twitch chat. I just thought everybody was being quiet. Like, everybody was just having a chill moment while I slaughtered all the enemies. But apparently not. Twitch chat was broken. Hi, Zeta. Well, we're here staring gossip here in the inn, Zeta. I've got some poisons to make for this guy, apparently. Let's see what he wanted. Lothering. Oh, God. Did I even do one of these? Ah, there we go. Lothering. Create a poison for Barlin. The farmer Barlin wants to place poisonous traps around his farm. Ah, oh, wants place. It's, it's broken. I spotted a typo in Dragon Age. The farmer Barlin wants to place poisonous traps about his farm to protect it from beasties and other trespassers. He's asked you to create a suitable potion for him. Three flasks of venom should do the trick. So I do have poison making. Uh, I need some toxin extract. Mm. I probably have to kill some Any nasty creatures to get hold of that. Or you're here to see my stock. I'm still looking for the ingredients. Uh, sad to hear it. Yeah, there's probably some spiders uh, who we get poison uh, from. No I'd doubt. look in the woods. No doubt. Uh, the town, and and maybe even look through my stock. There should be enough around to make some. Oh, even if it's take just it. red poison, I'll take it. Red poison. Oh, rat poison. Rat poison. Show me what you got. He has got some good stocks. Got a lot of health poultice, I've got to say. I should probably go and venture out into the the wildlands now, but I'm a little bit scared, seeing as our tank is not very tanky. Look how flat that belt texture is on him. I wasn't really looking at his belt, but... Oh, yeah, that's beautifully flat. This game is 10 years old, though, and it still looks pretty beautiful. Did you try sending it during the balked period? Oh, it may not come back. Well, Bocci, I think we all know what colour team you support. So, do let me cast you as a wisp if you desire. Ooh, I can steal from the poor again. All right. My favourite. Ooh, mushrooms. Lovely. What's it now? The cook is not that? happy. I can just keep stealing. I can steal this no mace from his spare. shop and then sell it back to him. Out you go! Oh, she's not happy with that. Sorry. Was free for the picking. Sorry about that. Oh well. Anything else to explore up here? A lot of these sisters of the Chantry around. Hello. Hello. Those are some interesting bongo drums you have there. Refugee girl. There's just a lot of refugees around here. Good evening, heavens. How are you doing? Welcome to Dragon Age. Tier 3 blue, as always, I will cast you. Thank you so much for the tier 3 as well. I'm sorry the alert didn't come through. I think Twitch just had like a a crazy moment, but I very much appreciate you pledging your soul for the 11th month. And not only that, at tier 3 level. Honoured to have you in the community, as always, Bocci. And I will cast you. Who knows, maybe at the very end of stream in a few hours, it will suddenly come through out of nowhere. I'm going to cast you just up here. Look at that. We have three tier three souls today. Thank you so much for supporting, Bochi. I do love a nice big blue soul. What about you? Feeling better? Eh, meh. I think, you know, I've just got to put some things aside in stream because at the end of the day, I do this as a job now. And uh, so tell me something, Mara, I can't so bring those things onto stream. It's just yesterday. I, I was like, occasion, nah, I, I don't think I can stream Why? today. I just, I don't so feel it's right. There's a certain like Age, atmosphere that home. I want to have in my stream, you and, your mother there. and um, no you know, else. obviously if other things are affecting me, sometimes I have to just be like, nah, Back off. I nothing. Have the right to charge what I wish. Oh god! Profit from their misfortune. Drama going on here as well. Give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too it's close to It might be the merchant that's been like stealing it's all so the goods. It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Oh no! It warms the heart. Oh, you there? You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? He sounds horrible. I don't trust that beard either. That's like the most untrustworthy beard style in the world. 
can't trust that. If he's got a moustache leading into that, might be trustworthy. But when he just goes around the cheeks, I just... That's a dodgy gentleman with some side chops going on. Some dodgy gentlemen's. Aw, oh, thank you, Heavens. The Heavens is doing fine. Just fine indeed. You've run out of sick days. Indeed. Indeed. The sick leader is here. There we go. Making up for the sick days. Uh, solve this yourself. I'm not getting involved. Why would I want to help you? Get rid of the tiny part and I'll consider it. Is your profiteering ruffling some feathers? You could say that, yes. The nerve of these people! He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. Tis only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would Ooh, do the same. I didn't think that would be her opinion. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their I lives, think he should reduce his prices. Look, stranger. I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Honest. Oh, honest merchant. Uh, those of you not here to do business, leave now. Honest merchant. Can you beat that office, sister? Hmm. Hundred silvers, pretty good price, but I don't think I'm interested. I don't think you're being unscrupulous. Not interested, mate. Well, I won't stand for thievery. Not interested. Especially not at the demand of some shrewish priest. Then go, and may you get all you deserve. I hope the darkspawn choke on your cheap hides. Ah. I suppose it couldn't be helped. Maker, help us all. Aw. Okay. Well, I don't feel like I was really able to resolve that situation now. But I mean, there's well, some free right. stuff in the crate, so I'll just take it, I suppose. I suppose. Oh, I do. Hey, yo, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Dodgy, that's the Abraham Lincoln bid. Exactly. 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 <laughs> Damn capitalists. Well, they, they are selling things for an extortionate price, but I feel like it's what any human would do in this situation. You humans like your money. You humans like your money. First playthrough. Yes, sweet. Yes, it's my first playthrough of any Dragon Age game. Never played a Dragon Age before. I guess we go to these uh, supposed woods then. I'm not feeling very happy about my poultice situation. <laughs> I don't think I have any right now, so I might have to just go and buy some just to have on me. Because I don't want to be caught with zero poultice. A recruiter was... Fighting in heavy armor makes your abilities require more stamina. Oh. Gotta be careful balancing that then. <laughs> Hello. I what you did with the other merchant. Got what he deserved. Ah, he appreciates that. Any luck with that poison? Or you're here to see my stock? Ah, uh, show me what you got. Health poultice. Lesser health potion. Uh, how expensive is it? How, oh, he only has one of those, but he's got three lesser health poultice, which I will buy as well. Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to go find some elf root at some point and just craft a bunch myself. Started my very own elf. I blame you for making me start the game again. So many people have said they've now booted up Dragon Age and they're playing again. I'm happy. I'm happy I could inspire your love of Dragon Age again. Dragon Quest Builders 2 came out today. I do not know if this game pairs. What kind of game is it? I mean, I assume it involves building but I'm not too sure what it's like. Best in the franchise, so I'm told. So, am I still in Lothering? I'm gonna try heading this way, see what I can find. Just got a lot of quests that are like, head into the woods. So I guess we head into the woods, see what we can find. Oh, hello, is that elf root? Oh, yes, that's what I needed. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Got some elf root from that. Elf root. Whoa! What am I being attacked by? What am I being attacked by? Oh god. Gellocks and Herlocks. The darkspawn here. Okay, I guess I just start firing and then we send yes. you in to deal with them. Okay. Seems to be an archer there as well. Morrigan, do something! Do something! I thought they were all on defensive, so they should start attacking, but maybe not. Maybe not. 
Loud combat music is loud. I just had an auto save, so we should be okay. What are you doing? That's that's a wall, my dear. Go this way. I'll guide you. I'll guide you. Hi, Sarko. Welcome, welcome. Don't mind me. Nothing dangerous going on here whatsoever. Okay, so if I go back to my main character, here we go. Oh, no, I don't need daggers anymore. Pretty much fight them by myself. Doggo just went in and picked that fight. Oh, no. A herlock. Alpha. <gasps> I haven't fought one of those before. They look dangerous indeed. Morrigan, what are you doing in there? What are you doing with your staff in melee range? Come back, come back here. You're a wizard, wizard. Stay where you belong. Back here with me. Hi, hot as well. Welcome on in. Super fun, kind of like a cartoony Minecraft with Dragon Age characters in it. The first one was a single player game. Oh, this is multiplayer. Minecraft with Dragon Quest. Sounds like a good mix of two things. Hi, Faithy. Welcome, welcome. I'm just murdering as usual. Very usual activity for a Friday night. Oh, can I finish him off? I managed to stun him. Yes. Oh, it's a dwarf. It's the first dwarf I've seen. I'm getting distracted by dwarves and by souls being given to me. Zack. But where have they taken the hobbits? Did the Herlocks take the hobbits to Isengard? We'll never know. Zach, thank you so much for willingly giving your soul. We didn't even have to take it from you. Enjoy your next 30 days of immortality. All of those emotes are now in your inventory as well. You can use elves all over Twitch, no matter where you go. And do feel free to come and join our Discord as well. We have a sub-only Discord that you are most cordially invited to join. Do come and join us there. We have Wisp Wednesdays every single Wednesday, which is our community night. And we generally do quite a lot together offline as well and have some very crazy and random chats. Welcome to the Wisps. Also, Zach, a very important question. What color is your favorite color? And I will cast you as a Wisp for the rest of today's stream. Welcome. A brand new soul approaches. Where did that come from? It felt like it was a celebration of me killing the alpha. The timing was perfect. Welcome to the Wisps. I'm honored to have your soul. Oh God. I'm surprised he hasn't taken more damage throughout this fight, actually. I thought he would have taken more. Hi, Aldred. Why, thank you. I have returned from my travels. Dwarves! Oh, my friend, I'm much obliged. Oh, they're dwarves that aren't Scottish. I question the nature of my existence. You can't not be Scottish. He's just like this, isn't he? Mighty time low arrival there, my friend. Much obliged. You're welcome. Just how obliged exactly in monetary value. Bocci! Thank you so much for gifting me the soul of Frank. Is Bocci just like going through Crystallian members and seeing, seeing whose soul I have and whose I don't? Thank you so much for returning Frank's soul to me. I appreciate it. Always good to have another soul. 17 months as well that we've had Frank's soul. 17 months. Thank you, Bocci. I know it's difficult for all the members of Crystallium to actually subscribe every single month. So some of them rely on gift subs. So I really appreciate that. Thank you for welcoming her soul back. I will take good care of it. Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. Mighty timely arrival indeed, Bocce. You're welcome. Just how obliged. Oh yeah, I could try and squeeze more money out of them. That would be, that would be great. So you can get some more golden coins. I wasn't trying to save you, trust me. It just kind of happened by accident. Didn't even know you were here. Wow, how rude. You're welcome. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here what is, is my this son, accent? Sam. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Is, she, is he Australian or is he West Country? I can't quite work it out. He might be a little bit Australian with a little bit of West Country mixed in. Who knows? He's, he's somewhere in the middle. Sandal, my boy. Hello. I like them already. I doubt you want to travel with a Grey Warden. A little bit complicated, but you're welcome to come along. I'm not going the same way, trust me. 
King's business, I'm afraid. Well, the king is dead, so probably not a great thing to say. Um, it, it's a bit complicated, but you're welcome to come along if you need to. Complicated? <laughs> Somehow I imagine that only says Arma. What is I this? We have Jerva back as well, and Arma. this is a big one for Jerva. This is 12 months of wisdom, also known as an entire year. Can we get some love up in chat? For the return of Jerva, an entire year. Thank you for supporting me for this long. Hang on. Okay, no, it's fine. We aren't fighting the dwarves. Suddenly, suddenly everyone in my party took out their weapons and I was like, hang on. I thought we were all friends here. But we're good. We're good. <clears throat> anyway, Jerba, thank you so much for a year. I super appreciate you supporting me and being a lovely member of this community for so, so long. And uh, Jerba, if you let me know that soul color, I will cast you as a beautiful, bright, tenderly wisp. You get an extra shiny wisp for having been subbed a year as well. Enchantment. Enchantment? What kind of enchantment? I guess we have a meme here. I think someone asked about that earlier. I guess we've now made our own meme. We have become the meme. But yeah, Zach and Jerba, let me know your colors and I'll cast you. You can pick your favorite color. Don't let chat influence you. Zach has gone for a purple, which is a very good choice. The only correct choice. Thank you, Zach, for choosing so correctly. And I am gonna cast you just here. We have a little purple gang going on. So uh, I think you will add nicely to the purple gang, Zach. Here we go. Purple crew for the win. I'm gonna pop you with the others over here. We've now got three purples on the screen. We're taking over, guys. We're taking over. Welcome back, Zach. We've made a new meme. We've got a meme for today. I feel like if this had been out at a time when memes were actually a thing, there would have been far more memes. But there probably are some Dragon Age memes that have now been created. Probably. I meant the whole enchantment thing. I didn't, I didn't hear about this enchantment. I, I, I didn't hear about it. It's been almost a year since I found Crystallium as well. Well, I can't believe it's been that long. Of course. Lovely. Oh, I found a letter. Let's see, I think it'll be under my my quests. Oh God. Uh, codex. I think. Notes. Feast day pranks. I have no idea which one it might be under. But we found a note. It wasn't from Sir Henrik. This is just a conversation history of everything that I have ever said. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I just picked up. Who knows? My codex has been updated, but with what? I do not know. Must be one of these. Items, magical religion, culture and history, characters. Ah, this just tells me about different characters I see. Hmm, I'm not sure then. I'm not sure. I think my resub's just broken. We'll just see. We'll see if it ever comes through. But we know it happens, so it's fine. Oh, a small carving of a robed woman. I'll take it. Thank you. The dwarves don't seem to mind. We'll be Bohan we'll Fedek. Oh, right. He didn't. He didn't pay me for my trouble of saving his life, which I'm most affronted about, actually. Apparently, I'm not allowed to be thanked for saving people. Pinko, you lose your head? Wow. You must gather your party before venturing forth. No. My party is very gathered, thank you very much. I, I don't know where this road takes us, but I guess we're going. I'm gonna get us killed, aren't I? Again. Again. Well, the, the Twitch chat was broken for a few minutes, kind of about 10 minutes ago or so. Twitch chat wasn't working, so it might be related to that. Should I have gone this way? Should I have gone this way? Dargan? I might have you having another vision again, I guess. You're having another vision. You leave, you can't get back? What? What? I want to do side quests. I thought this forest was this way. 
Maybe I should reload. <laughs> the Archdemon indeed. I'm sure it's all fine. Yeah. So I can't go back. I noticed you'd like Detroit Become Human and I think it's currently free if you have PlayStation Plus. I don't believe I have PlayStation Plus. I console has a PlayStation and I bought Spyro on it. And I was also playing Red Dead Redemption, but we don't pay for PlayStation Plus as far as I'm aware. I like that they're letting things become free and available, but yeah, I don't think I have it. I don't think I have it. But it's cool that they've uh, put that on free for a while because it is a really good game. I've not played it, but I know by reputation that it's amazing. It seems so real. Uh, must be something I ate. Why are you bothering me? I'm fine. It seems so real. Well, it is real, sort of. You see, see if I can reload. <laughs> part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Dark Spawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. Uh -huh. That's why we know this is really a blight. The Archdemon, is that the dragon? I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it, it sure does looks look like, like a one. dragon. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. I'm not frightened. Any other surprises that I should know about? You could have told me earlier, Alistair. Go on. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Any other surprises? Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing, no. I'm all tapped out for surprises. Sounds Anyhow, good. you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. I should probably... So if I can't go back there, I probably should really reload because I, I didn't know that the whole, like, you should gather your party before setting forth meant that we were actually like permanently leaving an area. I thought that was just like a, are you okay to go through a loading screen kind of thing. So I'll load it in Lothering. We had a quick save in Lothering, so there we go. Hopefully it should work. Hi Doku. Are you trying to check how long you've been following Doku? Archie, thank you for the biddies. Good guy Alistair, watching you in your sleep. I know, right? I think he has like a very soft, cutesy underbelly that we haven't seen yet. I think he's gonna be a good guy. I think deep down he is a good guy, but he's just... He uses humour to guard himself, really. Okay, so this was after we dealt with the bandits and everything. We've been in there, we'd asked about the poisons. So I guess if we want to get to the forest, how do we get out there? Maybe like this way somehow? I don't know. I'm gonna go explore, see what we can find. Hi Alex, welcome on in. We go this way, I guess. See what we can find. Up here? No. There's not a ramp, apparently. But there is supposed to be a forest that I can uh, go into. And then come back to Lothering and complete some quests, so... We're going forest hunting. I think that command worked before. I think it was slightly different. I don't think the command's followage. I think it's something else. I'm not sure. I'll see if there's anything on Elfbot that looks similar. Ah, followage. No, it's been disabled, apparently. I don't know why Elfbot keeps disabling commands. There you go. Doku, followage will now work if you try it. Hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, he keeps disabling commands without me telling him to. It's really, really odd. It was since the last update that they did. He just keeps turning things off. Hi, Ra. That man is a bird in a cage. Well, apparently he murdered some humans. So, I don't know if I'm really a fan of that. Let's see, there was some stuff in these boxes that I can take now. Trap triggers. Iron helmet. Although I could have sworn I put that on there. Uh... Ah, actually, he can he can yes. wear the grey iron helmet again. I can put that on him. I could have sworn we put it on him before, but maybe that was before our last auto save. Elfbot was like, well, you can always click your name. I know, right? He's so rude. Rude Elfbot. There you go. You've been following for a year and two months. What the heck? That is a long time to be following an elf. Oh, and luck just beats you there. One year, two months, five hours. Whew. Whew. 
I think if anyone is likely to be the victor of the followage, it's probably going to be Foz or Zio. Probably most likely Zio, because Zio's probably been here the longest. Okay, can I get out to the forest from here? I was thinking that there was more that I could do. And that the forest was part of this. I guess the forest might just be over here. There's not that much of a forest to me though. Faye! Oh my gosh, Faye's back as well. 15 months of immortality. 15 months says Faye. Huzzah! Oh no, maybe woke up. Have to leave again. Have a good stream. It was me shouting, Faye! That broke the, woke the baby up. But thank you so much for giving your soul back for all of this time. 15 months of love and support. Thank you so much. And uh, Faye, as always, if you let me know your soul colour, I'll cast you on screen. I will convert you into your immortal form, as always. Thank you so much. I hope baby's happy. Probably saw an elf and was like, oh my god! What is that creature? I am 100% stalking Dawn. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Over three years. Three years, one week, and one day. I, I don't think that's going to be beaten by anybody. What about Foz? I didn't see Foz's followage. Pink, duh. I thought so. I just have to check, otherwise if I don't ask you what colour, it technically counts as soul slavery. You have to be able to choose every single month. Although with some of you now, I just assume what colour you're going for. I probably shouldn't, that's kind of illegal. But Faith, a wonderful Team Pink member. Faith will be very happy about this to see more members on Team Pink. And I'm going to pop you just over here. Ooh, ah, ah, there you go. Wrong side. I nearly cast you in the wrong part. But Faye, welcome back. Thank you for 15 months. Team Pink, going strong. Go Team Pink. Ah. Two years, eight months and one week. Oof. He is a cheater. Did, did he cheat the time? Did he add some time on? Plus add time, one year. Did he use the secret mod command? Can I swim? I doubt I can swim. <laughs> so this is what they meant when they said the forest. Because I was like, how is this a forest? But apparently this is where we find the spiders. Okay. Oh no, spiders. Giant, giant spiders, not just spiders. Giant freaking spiders. Do not like. Oh god, they work for me. Mabari, go in. What are you doing up there? She's far too close to combat right now. I guess we just keep going. Hell yeah, spider boys. I do not appreciate the spider boys. I'm gonna stab you. I'm gonna stab you, she -lob. I hope spider boys have good reagents at least. Isn't this the game with a no spiders setting? I think more games should have no spider settings. I know people who can't play Skyrim because they can't get through that first quest of Skyrim where you're in the cave. I've also heard terrible things about playing that in VR. Really, really scary in VR apparently. Oh my god, he's so nearly dead. Didn't I buy some... Oh god damn it, I bought potions but it was before the, uh, the save. Hang on, hang on. I think I have enough elf fruit. There we go. We can make one poultice. One poultice. And he can have it. He might not be quick enough. We need to get these down really fast. Otherwise, he's a goner. I don't want to loot that. I just wanted to target the spider. There we go. He's so dead. Morrigan isn't doing very well either. Someone needs to save Morrigan Bay. Did she just heal herself? Does she have a healing spell? I want to be so mad if she's had a healing spell this whole time anything i think she can give herself like ice armor but no healing spells that i know of okay one left we can do this and i'm gonna go buy some bloody poultice these spiders are adorable they're actually not very scary they're not very scary maybe it's the older graphics but i'm not terrified of them he's moaning that he's been hurt i'm so sorry oh this spider was very thoughtful he had a health poultice on him and this is the toxin extract that we need for the innkeeper's quest where he wants us to make poison. Yeah. This is their not cave over there. Boom, new meta. Exactly. Anyone seen Midsommar? 
just watched it. Not heard of it. What's it about? When I played this game, I had a bug where the trees never rendered. Are there supposed to be trees here? Because, like, the only tree I see is this tree. And all of the people in the village are like, go into the forest. Find these ingredients. And I was... The reason I went to the left and down the road is because I didn't see a forest. There was no forest. Your hound seems particularly interested in this landmark. <laughs> he didn't just... What the heck just happened? He just peed on a tree to assert his dominance. Should I be concerned? I don't know where that- I think my issue with the whole codex thing is I don't know which page it is. Creatures. Is, is there something more about Mabari that I have now learned? Mabari dominance. Mabari hounds are descended from great pack hunters, and like their ancestors, they are highly influenced by a defined order of dominance. The primary method of determining the order is claiming the territory through scent marking major landmarks. Once established, the dominant Mabari gains a substantial increase in confidence and stature within its territory, a trait that indirectly benefits master, as well as hound. So now he feels confident in himself. He's like, whoa, I peed and now I love myself. <laughs> oh, gee, thank you for the biddies. Because Twitch won't let me send my resub, I'll just send the message in this way. It's time for a really sappy message. I love those, but they always make me cry. It's been 11 months since I found this amazing community. Thank you to Dawn and your amazing community that I feel comfortable. It's thanks to Dawn and your amazing community that I feel comfortable with talking to people online. This community has helped me so much with my social anxiety and I can't thank you enough for that. I love you all. We love you too, Bocci. I'm so glad that we could help you in that way. You know, of course, that I'm somebody that suffers from anxiety as well. So for me, being able to help you in that way means so much to me. And thank you for being a wonderful part of this community. I'm so glad you found us. I can't believe it's been that long. Oh my gosh. It's been a long time indeed. 11 months though. Soon to be a year. You always brighten up my day and I'm sure you brighten up many other people's in this community. Sappy messages, that's <laughs> good. Hi, UV, welcome. You're in? You're in where? What have you done? I was thinking of going to watch it at an open cinema event in the middle of the forest. Wait, what? What is it? I've not heard of this. Go to Morrigan's tactics, change her range preference. I think she's coming into close range right now. Yeah. Oh, wrong one. Let me just accept that and then. Um, she's default. I'll put her at ranged preference and that should, that should hopefully do the trick. Is this supposed to be a scary thing? Do you mention weird sex rituals? So I was immediately in. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemeners, my mods, the most mature of humans that you will ever find. Midsommar is a mystery slash horror film. It's about a weird sun cult in Sweden. Cool, I'm in. As long as it's especially weird. I like the, I like the weird things. They're always the best. I killed the bandit groups. One group remains. One, one bandit group remains apparently. Okay. Well, there's some there's some uh, darkspawn up there, but I think they specifically wanted me to kill bandits, so I'll keep an eye out for bandits. This don't seem like no forest to me, though. Ah, bandits! I think we found them. No, <laughs> yeah, we found them. Hi, Zenora. Welcome on in. Don't involve me in this. Wow. Oh dear. Who doesn't like a weird ritual? Exactly. Exactly. Sounds sounds glorious to me. But I haven't heard of this. Maybe it's more a thing over there. Yes! It happened! Woo! And caverns old. Bachi! Welcome back. It came through by the grace of the gods. The resub system is now working. Bachi, thank you for 11 months! Almost an entire year of immortality. 
and of course for that glorious tier three. Welcome back, Boshi. Finally! I thought it might come through eventually, but there you go. The resub is here. We've already cast Bochi, he's already looking uh, splendiferous up there. That great big tier 3 blue wispy. But it finally came through, I'm proud of you Twitch. Okay, so you need to go and do something. And not just sit here, there we go. And then I am gonna bring us all in. It's your time to die! Bask in your subbiness. The day has come. Palabari! Oh no! That was so quick. I didn't even see him going down. He's obviously not made to be a tank. Our tank is not made to be a tank either. Oh my god, he's just surrounded. I've got like one health poultice. Oh, this does not look good. This does not look good at all. Yeah, he's gonna die. I don't have any more poultice. I did pick up one more elf fruit though, so... No, apparently I didn't pick up any more elf fruit. Oh, we're gonna die! We're gonna die horribly! I guess I'm going daggers. I'm tanking this thing. This is why we need a healer. Oh my god, I'm already dying. This is, this is not good. Kill them all, Morrigan! Kill them all! Avenge me! She iced the doggo, which was, you know, a step in the right direction. Can I run? I don't know if that's gonna help anyway. Nope. You died. Your journey ends. Load from my last save point, which was probably a while ago, probably before we killed the spiders. Quick save really is your best friend in all games, I swear to the gods. Maybe, maybe, did we, did we do the thing with the tree? Have we got the Ichor in our inventory? Because... Yeah, we've got the Toxin. Okay, so this was after we killed the spiders, so it must have quick saved us here. That fight seems very annoying. I need elf root. Root of the elves. I think there was more over here. Hi, Ghetto! Rev Rev! Hi, Rev! Welcome on in! I'm just dying in Dragon Age, as usual. I think everyone is praising the movie as really creepy and disturbing. Maybe because we can actually celebrate Midsummer here and I'm really numb to disturbing stuff after the Curse of Strahd. So I wasn't really phased by it. It's true, Curse of Strahd is something to desensitize you to anything creepy or possessed. Although we never got the full way through the campaign, it was pretty creepy. Get to the high ground! Get to the chopper! I can make two poultice now. It's probably not going to be enough to save me, but we will try that again. I'll send Alistair in first. One more group of bandits. They're pretty tough, though. I don't know if they're tough or if Alistair is just weak. He might just be a weakling. Ooh, is that elf fruit? I love me some elf fruit. Don't mind me, just going to pick some elf fruit in the middle of combat. And then I can make another potion! Okay, Alistair, do your thing. I'm kind of scared. Just go in. Oh no. Where's my Mabari? He can he can deal with this mob because I don't want to fight him. Oh now he's coming after me. Am I just gonna have to do daggers? This might be a dagger situation. He's dying horribly already. Oh, I'm dying horribly. I did not see that. Okay. To make sure they've all got poultice on their bars. Otherwise we're not gonna do very well at all. Poultice! I think that is my full supply of poultice. So we're basically just all screwed now, really. Just still screwed. I wonder if he does more damage from behind. Oh, is there more poultice? Got one more? Take the poultice, you silly man! There we go. He's a lesser health poultice, but apparently just what I needed. Can't make any more. Uh, uh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay, okay. Uh, I might just need to go and buy a ton of poultice and then come back because poultice seems to be the answer to everything at the moment. Go, Mabari, go! We've nearly killed them. She 
he's he's getting attacked at the moment, but if we if we manage to take him down. Ah, Mabari defend Morrigan! Yes! Mabari's MVP. Yes! Good boy, Bork! Good boy! You did it! You did it! I think there might be one more. Oh, there's one more. Come on, Morrigan. Oh no, Mabari's nearly dead. It's only a ranged one though. Wait, do I have any like Mabari crunch or anything? Because I can feed that to Doggo. Apparently I don't. Oh, I have a health poultice. This might be just what we needed. Take the poultice. Dog can self-administer poultice, by the way. He's a, he's a very intelligent doggo. Woo! We did it! That was tough. Are we still being attacked? We're still under attack, apparently. Hello? Who wants to fight? Doggo will come for you. He will not be merciful. Some Somebody still wants to fight. Oh, no, we're getting back up. Okay, this is fine. He's such a good boy. In fact, I'm gonna pet him and tell him how beautiful he is. Good boy. Yeah, you good boy. Yes, good boy. You're so good at murdering people, just like I taught you. I'm so proud. Um. You can always ask him if there's anything interesting around, so... Uh, do you see anything interesting? He just, like, runs off. He has not found anything. I could never be disappointed in such a good boy, though. I also... So if you die during combat, you get rezzed after the combat's over, but you come back with some injuries. So I've now got a crushed arm, and Alistair has now got... Oh my god. A crushed arm, a cracked skull, and a damaged eye. So I should probably heal him first. That would probably be a good idea. So that heals one of his injuries. I'd probably have to use three to heal all of them. And the leader's just a beast. Yeah, he was hitting really hard. It hurt me greatly. I'm a night elf druid. My only god is Cenarius. I feel you. I, I too played a night, night elf druid. I played a priest for a lot longer in World of Warcraft though, so I was all very much like, Praise Elune! Ishnu al Daudieb. I think I'm okay, it's only a minor head injury. This is gonna use all of my injury kits as well, which is not very handy. Ooh, health poultice. A greatsword, two-handed greatsword. Kunari thickened cap. It's a light armor. That could be good for me eventually, but I don't have enough strength for it. Heavy chainmail gloves. Could this be good for our tank friend? Let's have a look. We try and find the chainmail. Heavy chainmail. 1.75. Yes. Has less fatigue as well, apparently. Heavy chainmail gloves. Yeah, that's got some more armor on it. Uh, splint mail was what he was wearing before. Yeah, that's the same stuff. Heavy chain mail. 22 strength required. 8.75 armor. That's a direct upgrade. Cool. How is, how is his shield compared to the metal one? A lot better, so we'll not change that over. He's, he's looking good. Um... I was going to see if I could wear the cap, but I don't have enough strength. Neither is Morrigan. I don't think I'm ever going to have enough strength for that, but we'll see. We killed all the bandits, though. Bandits are vanquished. And we're going to get some good money for that as well. Hydaelyn is the only god I need. That's some Final Fantasy stuff, isn't it? I know that Final Fantasy stuff. Studded leather boots. I'm getting so excited about a pair of leather boots, but I think they might be good for me. Uh... Nope, they're even worse than my current boots. Okay. Okay, game. I see how it is. I see how it is. Death to the bandits. As long as it gives me money, I'm fine with this. I actually got emotional when Sylvanas burned Teldrassil. I still have a hard time seeing that when I went to Darkshore. I was so upset. I wasn't even playing the game at the time, and I saw, you know, the trailers and everything. It's annoying as well, because I always liked Sylvanas. I thought she was a really interesting character, and... Her being part of the Horde and being so set on vengeance made a lot of sense, considering what happened to her and her really sad backstory. 
but I don't think it justifies what she did. I does not justify what she did. So I can't like her anymore. I always thought she was so badass, but I can't. Let him take notice and shine upon thee. Thank you. Thou hast done his work this day. Sylvanas is stone cold beach. Well, you are very family alliance, aren't you? Oh, there's another quest. When bears attack. On behalf of Thed Farmer and his departed son, I inscribe this missive. As the maker is my witness, I charge all those with knowledge of arms and armor to brave the dangers of the northern wood to find the family of bears that mauled and killed the boy Enoth. For they are an abomination in the maker's sight, and their hides would prove great comfort to the northern farms and solace to Thed's family. As a chanter for Lothering, I do pledge a sum of one sovereign to whoever carries out this deed by the maker's will. Exercise caution first and foremost. May his light bathe in us all. Okay, there's another one as well. I don't know where this northern forest they're talking about is, because there's not a forest up there. But I think that's the forest, because it said the spiders were in the forest. The forest with like two trees, as far as I can see. Unless the textures haven't rendered in again, and there's supposed to be an entire forest up there. A last keepsake. A thanks to all villagers who've opened their barns and crofts to the refugees in these dark times. The Chantry regularly hears praise from our visitors, and your virtuous deeds are mentioned in many prayers. Sadly, there is a lone boy in the village whose mother, goodwife Saha, is missing. As she has been missing for the better part of a week as of this writing, she is presumed dead. May the Maker bless her passing. She was a lady of middle years with red hair and fond of a green cloak. If any traveller or resident comes across her in the wilds, please return her body or the effects on her remains. In the later years, the boy will be thankful to have such keepsakes to remember that his brave mother by the office of the Chanter will compensate this kindness with this sum of 50 silvers. May the maker turn his gaze on us all. Okay, so bears. Bears are always fun. Well, it's telling me to go north again, so I guess that's the forest. This is why I went left before, because it doesn't look like a forest at all. About as alliance as they can. Mm, you really are like alliance paladin when it comes down to it, aren't you? Only thing is, it's, it's basically Garrosh all over again. We would have another rogue war chief on its own agenda. Yeah. Oh, look, now there's, there's suddenly wolves that have materialized. And they're after me. I think I leveled up. I'll level up after this fight, I guess. Very well. Wolves! Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh my god! Mabari better help target them. What? I guess they must all be really weak, but there's so many. I would really love some AoE right now. That would be very helpful. Oh no, now they're coming for me. I'm trying to keep an eye on everybody's health as well. Our Mabari's not doing well against them, sadly. Let's see if we can buff him up a little bit. Take that. And he should probably have the last poultice. He deserves it. He's been tanking for us bravely this whole time. Take the poultice! Oh my god, I think he's just getting mauled to death. He can't even take the poultice. How CC'd he is. Can we do anything about this? Can the Mabari go and interrupt? They're all just like around him. Spamming him. Oh, oh, Poltis. Yes. He's up. He's up. I'm not doing very well over here, though, with these couple of wolves. When did you save the last time? Probably after we... After we killed the bandits over there. So that wasn't actually too long ago. It's actually okay. We should be down with doing a good, good job tanking you. He's doing a bit better in that chainmail, I feel. Doing a little bit better. And we've both leveled up. Me and Alistair, both next level now. Gotta head off, gotta work tomorrow. No worries, Rev. Good to see you. The first Dragon Age is good. They have struggled to render more than three trees back then. I just... <laughs> the forest, ladies and gentlemen. The forest that they are referring to in the quest log is this. I would call this more of an open plain myself. 
but I am not one to judge the graphics of 10 years ago. Just a tiny bit misleading. Oh. Oh no. His mother's dead. That's the boy that we saw earlier. She must have been killed by the wolves. Oh no. Now we have to break the news. Or maybe one of the Chantry will break the news. I still don't remember. Maybe there are trees that are supposed to be there. Maybe. What's attacking us now? Oh, bears. Oh, great. Just every form of wildlife is determined to wreck us today. Go, 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 go! I guess I'm fighting a bear with a couple of daggers. Oh, they're really weak, though. It's fun. I appreciate the XP as well. I'm gonna punch the bear. Wow, I punched the bear and it stunned it. Amazing. Okay. Oh god, the blood just seeping out of their corpses. That's grim. It's said that we should take their hides, but it's not giving us the option to, so I, I guess it's just murder. It's a good bit of murder. It's not supposed to be a forest. Brickalion is a forest. It's said in the log though, like in the journal. Um Mm -mm. North of... Probably not there anymore because I've done it. Mm -mm. Anyway, they, when we talked to people they were like, the forest to the north! I mean, I guess there's trees, so it counts as a forest. There's like three trees, so there we go. I'm gonna save. And then I guess I should do my talents. Oh, what to go for, what to go for. Also, appreciate my derpy character portrait. It's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. I should basically just be going dex and cunning, right? Probably mostly dex. I don't know if I need strength. I kind of want one more constitution, but I don't know if I should. Um, just because sometimes I do get involved in melee combat, even though I probably shouldn't. What have we got here, then? Mechanical expertise and device mastery. So this might make us be able to do traps? No. Bonus when dealing with locks and traps. And then this is like the most intricate level and I see all of the traps that I can disarm. A swift kick and an unsportsmanlike kick to the target, dealing normal on combat damage as well as imposing penalties to defense and movement speed unless the target passes a physical resistance check. Just going for a quick crotch knee, dirty fighting tactics. I was kind of trying to go a little bit further down the archery tree as well. Expert combat training is needed for some of these. Yes, yeah, all of them need it. Um, Scattering shot. The archer fires a shot designed to open up a weak spot in the target's armor. The shot deals normal damage if it hits and imposes an arm penalty on the target. Cool. I think I will actually go for that. Okay. And Alistair, I guess we just want to up his strength and also his constitution if he's he's tanking for us, so two more constitution and one more strength maybe? Shattering Shot is fairly strong. Anything with penetration at the moment is going to be really useful. It's going to be very useful indeed. I guess we do this and then I want to make him more tanky. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Weapon and shield is probably the way to go. Just level him up in here. Okay, so some of these require extra strength. While this mode is active, the character drops into a defensive stance that favours the shield, gaining a bonus to defence and an increased chance to shrug off missile attacks, but taking a penalty to attack. I think I'm fine with this if we're going tank. You may have that, Alistair. And behave yourself, please. Don't get into any more trouble. We're leveling up quite nicely now. I've just had a little tooltip pop up. Which you can't see because it's behind me. But it says that I have qualified for a specialization. A customized form of a character's base class. Each offers a unique set of advanced talents and benefits. 
Characters may have up to two specializations, with the first becoming available at level 7 and the second becoming available at 14. But first, you'll need to find a trainer, it says. Dot, dot, dot. Why are you so mysterious, Dragon Age? And it's warning me that heavy armor reduces characters' attack speed with bows and crossbows. And weighty armor causes more fatigue as well. Okay. I think he needs it at the moment, though. Today, when having the most boring time this week, I decided to watch the entirety of the Dragon Frames. Oh, that series is really good. I need to catch up on that now because I'm a bit behind. Every time I hear Dawn Whisper has been disguised as a human, all I'm able to think is Rayla pulling up the hood, putting on the gloves, and in a happy go way, lucky way, pointing out the problems with humanity. I love her. Honestly, when she opened her mouth and she had a Scottish accent, I was like, wow, okay, cool, strong choice. And she's just so, so cute. She's so, so cute. But yeah, I need to catch up on that series. I like the animation style. It's kind of, I don't know why it kind of reminds me of Borderlands because it has that like kind of line based thing going on. And it's kind of 3D, but like false 3D sometimes, which is really cool. Need to turn Alistair's thingy on. I don't expect he does that by himself because he would what never now? think for himself. Yeah, shield defense is what we just got, I think. Uh, self any activate threaten self being attacked by range attack oh i need i need more tactics to be able to do this um nearest enemy visible shield pummel yes i need threaten to be on because that's his taunt basically being attacked by a range attack shield cover uh, i guess i'll change this over oh hiccups um Self, status, rooted, slowed, grab. Being attacked by a type of attack, surrounded by enemies. Surrounded by at least two enemies, and then I could say that he should do... What is it called? Shield defense? I guess. We'll see how that goes. Because then if he's surrounded, he'll go into defensive mode. And usually if he's taking any sort of big damage, there's more than two enemies around him too. Let him take notice and shine upon Thank you. Thou hast done his work this day. That's all he ever says. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. The boy's mother's dead, by the way. I guess he's just staying with you then. I don't have to break the news, which I'm grateful about. Specializing cake eating. That's my real life speciality. My real life speciality. It's all I'm good at. Hey, Tangent. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, he just goes on about the, the sun blessing us and uh, the gods looking down upon us. And I mean, I think he gave me some money, so I'm not too bad about it. I'm not, I'm not too bad about it, as long as he paid me. I'm Did fine with this. Auto save! Just gonna auto save over here. As you do. Arya's off. Have a good night, Arya. Thank you for being here. There we go. We're in the inn again. The music is gonna go back to being jolly, I think. It was all a bit intense outside. Oh my god, what have I done to you, Morrigan? I just. Every time I look at her, I'm just disappointed sorry i made you wear an oven mitt on your head she's just judging me constantly about why i did this to her but hey i'll leave you with the very attractive Mor morrigan oven mitt version and i will see you in a second i'm gonna take a really quick break go and fetch some more tears of my enemies to drink and i will return very shortly have fun here in the jolly inn
Hello there, humans. Welcome back. I return once again. I see we have a spellbound up in chat. A new wish just come in as well. Did you enjoy staring deep into Morrigan's eyes? New and improved version of Morrigan with oven glad hat. So sexual. I can't resist her. I'm new in town and I'm terribly naive. My, does that oven mitt look fetching on you? Can I buy you a drink? Sure, as long as you promise not to do naughty things to me in public. Oh my god, are you writing oven mitt fan fiction now? Is that the level we've gotten to? Shocking. Shocking. To be done. So I'm gonna go what and see, because there's this guy in the cage, and they said we could talk to the Chantry mother, and she might let her go. Stop looking at me, mongrel. I have nothing you want. Hmm. Why do you keep staring at me so, you flea-ridden beast? <laughs> you tell when you are not wanted. I enjoy company of creatures of the wild, not stench-ridden domesticated wolves. Don't be so mean and to he him. he persists. Maddening. It's okay, Borky. It's okay, boy. I give you pets. I still love you. Don't bully the doggo. She's obviously a cat person. When we first got the dog, she was like, "Oh, leave it be. Let it fend for itself. She didn't want it in the party at all. Vladis! Vladis is back for 22 months of immortality. Vlad the Rad. The raddest of gentlemen here on Twitch. Thank you for 22 months of support. I can't believe that we've taken your soul again after all this time. Can we get some love and some hype in this chat for the return of Vlad the Red? Welcome back. Do I even have to ask what colour your soul is anymore? I think I know. Thank you for returning it to me. As you desire. I super appreciate it. Not really. That would be an orange soul. No question about it. Let me cast you. Speed casting occurring. And I'm going to put you... Oh, I don't think we actually have an orange wisp on this screen. We had a couple of orange wispies over in the elven forest earlier. But mostly a whole rainbow of wispies going on. So thank you for adding to the rainbow, Vlad. You're just up there. You should have just appeared. Welcome back. How's it going this evening? Well, we've got ourselves into uh, quite a few scrapes. Let's just say F5, which is the quick save button, is my friend right now. I have learnt how to use it tonight. Just uh, getting ourselves into a few scrapes. Making some very bad decisions, as you do. We're about to go and see if we can free somebody who killed a whole village, including its children, so that they can fight by our side. Which seems great. Yes. What can I do for you now? I want to talk about Sten. The Quinari you imprisoned? It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? There must be a reason why he did what he did, because he admits to killing them all. But I think it was a retaliation, like maybe they attacked one of their villages and killed everybody. It can't have just come out of nowhere. The almighty power of the F5 key, I know, right? Save scumming is one of my favourite things about games, exactly. Like, I, I should have been faster on the save scumming. Is there any way I can convince you to release him? What did he do? What if this causes an incident with his people? What did he do? He butchered an entire farmhold. Only one of the youngest hid long enough to survive. Aww. The child said his father had found the Canari gravely wounded and took him in. Oh my god. That kindness was repaid with murder. The bandsmen found the Canari just standing amidst the carnage. The heck happened there? He did not resist them. That doesn't even seem reasonable. I was thinking there was going to be some kind of backstory for how their people have always been at war and it was a retaliation attack. You're certain that he did it? But what would make him do such a thing exactly? What... He would not say, though he acknowledged his guilt. Even the seasoned knights who apprehended him were disturbed by the carnage. However docile he appears, do not be fooled. That Kunari is a danger. What if this causes an incident with his people? Yeah. The Maker demands justice, regardless of his race. Is there any way I can convince you to release him? 
I don't think this is a good idea, actually. Like, I'm seeing no evidence that he is a good person at all. He might be useful in battle, though. Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. I was thinking you might release him into my custody. I've come to return him to his people. Oh, I could lie. That would mean a, a bluff roll. Sarko, thank you for the biddies. Doggo love all around. I like to think that you are dropping treats to feed Armabaru. He appreciates it, and so do I. I give you the shinies. Release him. I just don't trust him. Like, if he'd had a good reason behind what he did, like, I used to have five children and they were all slaughtered at the hands of humans, then I would maybe feel better about it, but I'm not sure. This Kunari is fine with the doggy, not like Morrigan. It's true, he may have murdered an entire village and their children, but he likes dogs, so... I think that balances it out. I think he's pretty much okay now. Mm. To defend against the blight? Yes. Perhaps that is a form of atonement. But are you certain you can control him? Nope. If you prefer, I could invoke the right of conscription. If not, I will kill him. Problem solved. I will do what I must to get help, even use force. If not, I'll kill him. I... It's fine. No, I cannot. Oh. There will be too much trouble for us if we are seen cooperating with you. I will not argue. Give me the key to Sen's cage or die. But the Darkspawn are the real enemy here! Yeah, the Darkspawn! The Maker cares no less for that Canari's victims than for the thousands who fell in Ostagar. Now, good day. Ooh! Oh, she's not... she's not happy about it. Oh dear. Maybe I should have said something else. I guess the only way to get him out is to break him out myself. Let's have a look at our quest log, because that's updated now. She will not release him. Find a way to release Sten. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is going to get us into trouble, I can tell. Saving here. Barge her, maybe? Just, like, knock her over. The intimidation tactic. Okay. Let's go and have a look at this cage. See how easy it is to break into. There might be somebody else who can do the job as well. There might be someone else. Morrigan has the ugliest hat that I've ever seen. <laughs> It's fashion here in this village. She she expressly requested to wear it herself. Yes. She definitely didn't judge me as soon as I put it on her. She just doesn't look like she's enjoying the experience. She keeps like staring at me like, why? Why? It does look very high fashion. It really does. I know how but I'm gonna tell you. Thank you. This is a blind playthrough. If anyone's just coming in, please do not tell me specifically how to do things. I might every now and then ask a rhetorical question like, hmm, I wonder where this is, but that's not me asking chat. I will specifically say, chat, please help me if I don't know what to do. I do like to enjoy these kinds of games blind. Hi, Joe. So I haven't been really around in a while. How's the game and the, the story going? Last time war. I saw it, you were saving really those ladies in the beginning. We saved the ladies. And then, well, you know, I joined a group called the Grey Wardens. There was a battle. Somebody betrayed Big us, and the king Even is dead. You, especially you, in some way. No big deal, really. You just your average gossip. Welcome on in, Joe. One of the most important people. Eh? What? Eh? Eh? You, you want to play? But I'm talking. <laughs> Why doesn't anyone want to hear me talk? Because you're an idiot. I'm sorry. He's quite cute, really, but also an idiot. I need to make some acid flasks, I think. That's what they want for this quest that I have over here. So I just need to buy some flasks, and then we should be good. To be Trying to find the Saboni Discord link, where just to find? So you actually don't need um, a Discord link. Down. That link that we have there that Zia put out explains how to join, but you just have to sync the accounts, basically. We've got Vep coming back. Vep coming back for five months in a row. Welcome back. Viparion! I'm gonna have way too much fun with this mixer. But thank you for five months. I super appreciate it. It's good to have your soul back, and I will keep it very safe back. 
As always, do let me know what colour you'd like your soul to be, and I will cast you. You're gonna look so shiny, that. Beautiful and shiny. Alistair tries, I know. I get the feeling that he's a bit hard on the outside, but he's soft and squishy on the inside, so. I look forward to getting to know him better, let's just say. Vep is going for a purple. Oh yes, a very good decision. Purple being the best colour, of course. I'm gonna pop you with our purple crew, because we've actually had a few other purples. So you can all hang out being the best colour in the corner there. And Vep, welcome back. Thank you for five months. So, I need to buy some flasks. I'm going to see if this guy sells them. <laughs> I heard what you did with the other merchant. Got what he deserved. He uh, did indeed. Any luck with that poison? Or I you mean, need to see my stock? I need to buy some flasks and then I can get you some, some poison. You got any flasks? Uh, he's got a lot of stuff. There you go. He's got 99 flasks. I could just do a big one-time purchase of, like... 30 flasks. Heck yes. And then I should have enough for a while. Just gonna make some venom. I think that's what he was looking for. Three flasks of venom is what he's looking for. So we'll just craft them up. <laughs> I guess I can keep one for myself. I love your top today, Dawn. It's very Dragon Age barmaid. Aye, would you like a drink, laddie? What would you like? Finest ales in the south. Aye, I'll serve you whatever you need. Any it's so hot, poison? and it's oh, a good, yeah, it's a good stock. cool top. It has flowy sleeves. What did you name the pup? He is called. We need to talk to him for the full pun effect. He is called Borkspawn. Like Darkspawn, but Borkspawn. Welcome, Drug Papa, by the way. We do love our Papa. We're big fans of doggos here. And he just peed. I was trying to show everybody how cute you are, and you just like pee in the middle of the carpet. Good boy. Good boy. Yee, good boy. Yee, yee. Sit. Sit. Sometimes Borkspawn doesn't do exactly what you want him to. Genius. Chat came Any up with it. I can take no credit. You here to see my it makes a great busty wench. Aye! That's my, my true role in life. The busty wench of the tavern. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. I, I can't help thinking of that every single time a merchant talks to me. Any luck with that poison? Or you here to see my stock? Thank you for the follow, Papa. And Moogle as well. Welcome to the stream, guys. I have what you asked for. Splendid! Uh, if those beasties come on my land, I hope it teaches them a lesson. Yeah, enough gold to cover any of your expenses and then some, hey? <laughs> I'm really happy about having some poison. Very happy indeed, quick save. Quick save. What other quests did I have around here? More than just plants. Elder Miriam has requested that you use your skill with herbs to craft some lesser health poultices for the injured refugees of Lothering. Three of these should suffice. Refer to her note for specifics. Oh, I don't think I've got any more elf root though. So I shall. It's hard to come by. I picked up everything. That guy looks like he's been through some shit. Well, he thought it was a good idea to leave poison traps out even when innocent people so might step them. So I think he's been through some shizzles indeed. Yeah, I ain't got no elf fruit. If I go out again, will the elf fruit have respawned? Wait a minute, he said gold and he gave you 75 silver. What a cheapskate. Can't trust anyone in these parts. Can't trust anyone. Oh, is that? Oh, no, I already got it. So that was the elf fruit that was there. But I've already got it and it hasn't respawned. So I don't see how I can be making any of these poultice. She wants me to craft three. I wonder if it counts if I buy three. Because I crafted more than three. And then I used all of them. Oh, gee! Can we get an F in chat for the poor town of Lothering? Just Fs, Fs all round. It's, it's a messed up place. Some pity bitties coming in from Archie there. For Lothering. 
or Lothering. I think I'm mispronouncing it. I would call it Lothering, but Lothering, everybody seems to be saying. Well, there ain't no ill fruit that I haven't picked already. So this ain't no good. I'll see if it'll let me buy it. Maybe somebody has elf fruit for sale, and then I can just do it that way. The merchant here doesn't like me now, though, because uh, I said he was peddling his goods for too expensive a price. So he wasn't very happy with that. But the refugees are in need. Surely he should lower his prices a tiny bit. Obviously, he shouldn't be giving free handouts, otherwise it would turn into a free-for-all and everybody would get aggressive, but maybe just lower them a tiny bit in these times of need. Is that too much to ask? Here we go. Alright. Anyone got Elfrey? Hello. Alright, where's your Elfrey? I can buy some lesser health poultice, which I think I'll do anyway, and then like if it lets me hand them in for the quest, then uh, it's plus. Oh fruit. Crafting? Elf fruit times eight. You know what? I'm gonna buy you out of elf fruit because it comes in useful anyway. And then I can make three of these potions that they like as well. One, two, three. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep on crafting. There we go. Oh, it's like instant crafting. There's not even like a bar that goes up. Best news all day. My new keyboard appears to not be broken after all. What happened? What happened, noob? Did you maybe spill something on said keyboard? Some fellow in the tavern said it's always danger. Gaming and a drink. Very dangerous. I actually spilled water on my keyboard I during stream once wonder, and uh, it started pressing random buttons. Me. Do I have a choice? Oh, of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? We've had I this find conversation. It curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer he to likes follow? following, not leading. I do. You sound so very defensive. There's a bit of tension Couldn't going you on here. into a bush somewhere and die? That would be great, thanks. Wow. I'll keep that insult. Won't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? Very witty. Very witty, Alistair. Hi, Cass. Welcome on in. I didn't know the conversations repeat. It might be because um, we had a quick save and then we had to go back because uh, we entered another area by mistake. So it might have just been that it hadn't played yet. There's probably like in the conditions a tick box that plays like, has this conversation happened? If not, then play. So, probably doesn't know. What am I doing here again? Oh, healing potions. I think it was for, who was it for? I forget who this quest was even for. Um, Elder Miriam. Vep! Oh yeah, those tunes are much better than whenever they were chanting in the chapel. Get some Elven dubstep going on. Vep, thank you so much for gifting me the soul of Master Jedi Soda. Welcome back, Jedi, for four months of immortality. And thank you so very much for kindly making sure that their soul remains in my possession, Vep. That is very kind of you. Come and get some love up in chat for Vep. For supporting the Queen and also ensuring that Master Jedi Soda remains in possession of their immortality. Thank you so much. Aw, humans. Spreading the love. I can't remember who Elder Miriam was, so it's going to be interesting. <laughs> it's been a while since I could use these. Enjoy them. Enjoy them. Courtesy of that. Spread the elf all over Twitch. Evening, Wisdom. Welcome on in. Vote green. Hmm. Yes, I wonder what colour Master Dead I said it will go for. You can choose your soul colour and I will cast you. It is your fourth month of immortality. Who is this person? I'm trying to remember who she was and like what she looked like. It should be marked on my map, shouldn't it? Chantry. I cannot remember. Mother Miriam. I would have thought she'd be in there with the Chantry, but I couldn't see her. I'm always navy blue or as close as it gets. Well, 
Of course, I have a, a navy blue soul waiting for you. Welcome back, Jedi. I'm gonna grab your soul. It's a beautiful dark blue colour. Very close to a nice navy. First navy wisp of the day, actually. Master Jedi, welcome back. You're going just up there in the top of the wisps. Keep all the other blue wisps company. Yeah, I'm not sure where Miriam is. Who Miriam is. The quest log, I love it because it's so dated in that I'm used to like the quest going a different colour if you've completed it. Like, tick, you've done this one. But it just kind of still says the same thing and is like, you have done this now. It doesn't change colour or get marked off really. So, yeah, I'm not sure where to go. Should I make that my active? That might help us find her. But I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, more souls returning! We have Grace of Athena. Welcome back, Grace. It has been 11 months now. You are so close to your year's worth of immortality. Welcome back. Oh wow, says Grace, the memory. Happy almost year mark. Happy almost year mark to you too. Thank you for supporting me all this time. And I hope you can indulge in the nostalgia here in Dragon Age. I, for me, this is my first time, so I'm like taking everything in with new eyes and I'm really excited. And then so many of you in chat are like, ah, oh, I remember this bit. Good times, good times. But enjoy the nostalgia. And uh, Grace, of course, let me know what colour you'd like to be and I will cast you on screen as well. I put so many hours into this game. It's very easy to do. There's like, I, I feel like the story is very clear cut and the path that you take is very clear cut. But there's so much that you can do along the way. There's a lot of side quests that you can choose to ignore if you wish. But I try and do them all. If not only for leveling up purposes so I don't get completely screwed over by mobs. The combat is pretty challenging. Um, I think I'm definitely going to have to get some more, uh, what are they called, tactic slots. So that I can tell my units what to do more. Because at the moment it's just like really basic stuff. Going for green grace beautiful colour. Colour of the forests and grass, I approve. We have a couple more greens as well, so I'll put you all in a little group just up here. Welcome back. Good old green souls. You're making me want to fire up this game again! I have converted so many people today. So many people have come in and just been like, you're making me want to play Dragon Age. Too late. Already restarted the game. I don't know where Miriam was. Mother, Mother Miriam is summer in Texas, so the green is getting pretty seared away. I miss it. Oh, it gets very hot over there. I complain here because I'm like so hot in my stream room right now, but whew, must be something else over there. I'm going to go look again in here because I mean, she is Mother Miriam, so I'm just trying to remember where I talked to her first. I've never even seen this game till now and I want to play it. It's so beautiful still, even after all these years. I'm not ashamed to turn down difficulty at some points. Yes. That's the thing. We did this fight where just a bunch of people came in and they were like, this is almost impossible. Turn it down to easy. And I was like, no, I'm I'm doing this on normal mode if it kills me. We were there for like an hour, but eventually I found a cheesy tactic where I could get Alice there to run around as a tank and the mob would follow him. And then we just had all the range like pinging arrows as Alistair ran around like a headless chicken. It worked really well in the end. It worked really well. Who is this person that I'm trying to find? Mother someone? Elder Mirian. Wait, 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 I remember who she is. She's 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 the elder. I, I kept thinking she was a mother of some sort, but she's she's the elder, she's in the village again. I know. I know where she is. Wow. Thanks, Tuta though. I just had a brainwave. Remembered. It's a game well worth the cost. Nearly 900 hours of unique play. I can't even imagine. I don't know if we're going to get through like all of this on stream, but I will do my best. We played Zelda from like February up until the end of last month. So we gave it some good time. And then I feel like I want to do the same with this. Like really do a good playthrough and uh, see everything that we can. The Elder, she's so over I take here. It you did not enjoy your Templar training. 
That's directed at me, I take it. Do you see any others about who have failed? Having a row with their ridiculous helmets on. I didn't fail. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens. And mm -hmm. if you had not been recruited, what would have happened instead? I would have turned into a drooling lunatic, slaughtered the Grand Cleric, and run through the streets of Denrim in my small clothes, I guess. <laughs> Your self-awareness does you credit. I thought you'd like that. The sass! I'm just gonna drink some tea at that comment, like. Morrigan. You're so spicy. Girl, take that heat down a few notches. They really despise each other. I'm not sure yet if it's a like, I despise you, but I also really want to bang you sort of way. Because I feel like that could easily be the issue here. Which origin? We were city elf. So, um, yeah, wedding day got ruined. That was fun. I think it was a good origin as well, because it showed, like, the tension woods. between the humans and the elves really well, which is something that I was really interested in. I love your cup! Where can I get one? So, this is actually, um, a Blizzard cup. Thank you for the biddy! The banter between Morrigan and Alistair makes this party all the better. It really does. I'm gonna have to keep both of them. I can't get rid of them now. But yeah, this is um, the cute but deadly range by Blizzard. I actually got this at EGX because uh, they didn't have an EU merch store until very recently. They do now. But I picked this up. It's got um, Tyrande on one side and then Sylvanas on the other side. But I try not to look at her now because she burnt down Taldrassil. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm not sure I can trust her anymore. But yeah, it's super cute. They've got a whole range called Cute But Deadly, where it's just like really cute World of Warcraft cartoons. And I fell in love with it and I just had to have it, of course. By the way, Dawn, has that thing I sent finally arrived? I'm getting really antsy for you to see it. Nothing yet. I've been listening out with me elven ears for the door, but nothing yet. Um, it can apparently take up to two weeks to arrive um, with string gifts. So I'm trying to remember like the date where it got sent through. If it gets to beyond two weeks then i will of course contact stream guests and make sure that it's not missing or anything but i'm excited to see what's inside i'm excited it's from wow yeah it's pretty cool i think i played this game three times over even through the expansion and all the dlcs i would hate to spoil it for you so i'll keep quiet on future knowledge until you need it thank you to you to that super considerate of you i know a lot of people will come in and they won't like realize what blind means and they'll just be like talking about characters i haven't met yet and stuff and i'm like he kind of spoils it for me even like we had somebody who was like ah oh, you're gonna meet morrigan really soon like just up that hill and that like completely spoils that moment because you know it's, it's like the mystery of her appearing and she's like hello strangers and everything and comes in is all like sexy and mysterious so yeah i think like just in general like if you're not sure if i know the thing yet you can always ask a mod it's one of those where it's quite clear set in the story. We had trouble with Zelda, like Breath of the Wild, because you can start anywhere, you can do anything in any order, and people were generally coming in like not sure if I'd found something yet. But I feel like in Dragon Age, it's, it's kind of easy to know where I am and what I've found so far. She's apparently burning down Thunderbluff next. She's just a filthy pyromaniac, isn't she? I used to think she was a really cool character, but now I just I can't. I'm just so impatient. I can't wait to see what it is. I love stream ghosts. It feels like my birthday every single day when one of those arrives. If anyone's not aware, there's a service called Stream Gifts where you can send things directly to the Elven Forest. So you can choose something from that wish list. I swear I had the command on here. Oh, there we go. Boop. You can choose something from a wish list that I've curated of things that I know I definitely like. Or if you prefer to be secretive and you'd like to buy something that isn't on the list, then you can contact Ashen Gaming, who's one of our mods, and he will secretly add it to the list. You can buy it and it will show up without me even knowing what it is. Even with the normal wishlist items, I don't get told what's on the way. So whatever is in the box is a surprise, even if it's something that's already on my wishlist. So we open them every Wednesday during our community day called Wisp Wednesday here on stream. And that's always, if you've sent a gift and you want to like watch me opening it, Wednesday is always a good day to come in. I normally take clips anyway if we open something. But I love it. It's like birthday every day, I swear. I've had so many amazing things through stream gifts. The only knowledge I have about Breath of the Wild are the sexy fan arts of sexy Ganondorf. <laughs> Still need to play that game. You know, I've played that game and I've not seen the sexy fan arts of Ganondorf, so clearly I'm missing out on something spellbound. I need to find sexy Ganondorf. What have I been doing my whole life? I've been missing sexy Ganondorf. 
you need to update that message since the GoXLR is now yours. Yes, I must update it. I can't believe it's mine even. I can't believe it's mine even. What can an elf wish for now? I don't even know. But I have the GoXLR. Which means I can do this. Or you know, maybe be a robot. A hard human doesn't like me. That's part of the beauty of the GoXLR, but the main thing about it, besides the gimmicks, is that I can uh, change around audio channels and it's now going properly through a mixer and our sound is being mixed, which is beautiful. And I love it so much. I did the thing on Sunday two weeks ago, so it should arrive by Monday at the latest. I believe so, I believe so. I think they don't count Sundays as part of like, you know, the general delivery days, but I'll keep an eye out for it. Sexy Ganon made me confused. <laughs> I mean, I'm confused just hearing about it, so I don't blame you. Hi, Maddie. Welcome on in. I did find the herbs in the woods. This will help many people. Yes. You're a good sort, you know. Yes, I am. Thank you. Okay. Give me some, some shinies. Now I'm going to steal from the refugees as extra payment. Okay, so... We've now done everything apart from release this guy who's in the cage. I don't know a way of how to free him. You wish something more of me. I can end it for you now if you prefer. <laughs> if My you're joining our party, whatever whatever you say you're joining our party. I wonder if Alistair has any. What ideas. do you need? Uh do you want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. Oh, I know died. you didn't know him as long as Sad. I did. Kenna, thank you for the follow. I thought you might need to talk. Doesn't mean I don't mourn his loss. He was like a father to you. I understand. I I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. He's full of feelings, see? He's a soft, squishy marshmallow underneath his hard, armoured exterior. There's no need to apologise. No harm done, Alistair. Don't let it happen again. There's no need to apologise. I... I'd okay. like to have a proper funeral for him. It's how he deals with the grief Maybe is being an arsehole. Maybe once all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. And what about the other Grey Wardens? I don't know. I have no idea what the Grey Wardens do for their... when they fall in battle. Could have have you some way to honor someone him. close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... I've lost enough to know what you're going through. I saw plenty of death in the alienage. I'd rather not talk about it, to be honest. Ooh. I've lost enough to know what you're going through. Yes, I... As an elf as really well have, in this universe, times are very Thank hard. You. Really? Elves are oppressed I mean it. in this universe. It was universe. good to talk about it, at least a little. Like I said, I'm just too impatient. I'm impatient too. I'm like, come on, gifties. I must see what's inside this box. But I'll ping you when it's arrived, Cass, as well, um, on Discord and let you know when we're opening it. It will be on Wednesday. If it's come by Wednesday, it will be on Wednesday. If it's not locked, it's not stealing. It's borrowing. And definitely a coin. Yes. I like this logic. I will go with this track. Well, um, anytime, Alistair. Maybe I'll go to High Ever with you when you go. He was a friend of mine too. Anytime, Alistair. I'm just going to be open about it. Well, we got to find some way to get him out of the cage. I just... <sighs> the mother won't let him out. Maybe we could, uh... We could bank on Alistair's friend in the Chantry? Chantry? Oh my god, these West Country accents have influenced me. The Chantry, darling. It's the Chantry. Don't be dropping your teas. Have another scoop. Going back in the chantry now. See if we can find someone who can help us. But yeah, like, they had the key to the chest at the back. But I don't think it's the same key that unlocks his cage. Because that would be very useful. That would be far too useful. Oh, 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 oh. The game froze for a second there. That reminds me. I need to quick save when we get in. I always regret not quick saving when that, when that not responding screen comes up. Right, right, right. Sir Bryant, Greetings, perhaps you will give me the what key. What can I do for he you? He seems reasonable. What can you tell me about the imprisoned, imprisoned, imprisoned Kwame? I was there at yes. the farmhold. Yes. 
My the beast stood there and wept with the blood of the children. He didn't even deny slaughtering them. The revered mother ordered him caged. She has more mercy than I do. But perhaps she is right, and the Maker has love for all his creations, even the Kunari. Kunari. Is there a way he could be, uh, really? He's not gonna like that. You can ask the revered mother. Ah. I say let him rot until Already the dark asked her. She's, him. she's not cool with this. I might be able to bribe her, I guess. I should go. Travel safely. I should and go. And may the Maker watch over you. Where was the other guy? I think he's like disappeared now, but he was over here. He just kind of walked away. And I don't know if we're going to see him again. Let's try talking to the revered mother once again. Yes. What can I do for you now? About the Quinari. Again. <laughs> We have already discussed this. I know, I but I like, I did really badly future. last time. So I want to try again. Can I try again? Um, will you reconsider, Astarte? I cannot. Grey Warden. I'm going to have to intimidate Please her. Leave the and she's got fate. guards. Okay, I understand. I'm going to quick save. <laughs> I'm going to quick save no and then bring elsewhere. in the fists. Bring in some intimidation. Fine. You asked for this. You did this to yourself. Yes. What can I do for you now? Again. Yes. We again. have already discussed again. this. Again. I told you. We're stuck I in a time loop until you release him. Check her room, maybe. Yeah. I was thinking we could steal something. Give me the key to Sten's cage now. I don't think she's gonna respond to this. Now we threaten priests. How fun! Fun! Whoa, whoa! Let's not get out of hand here. What is the meaning of this? You would threaten me with violence? Yeah. Your reverence, please. We are on an important mission. Let us take the Kunari off your hands. I beg you. I see. And if not, I am to be assaulted. Is this what we have come to? Yes. No, your reverence. I will not allow that to happen. I have more important matters to concern me. Here, take the key Ooh. to the creature's cage and huh. be gone. Lol. She's actually her. giving it to us. It works. Oh, you wet sponge of a priest, you. Thank you for the key. It worked. I can't believe it worked. I thought she was going to be like, how dare you, guards, and then call the guards over and we'd be arrested, but okay. I guess that's how it's going to go. If it's stupid and it works, it ain't stupid, it's true. Well, Alistair likes me less, but Morrigan likes me more because she was like, ooh, yay, fun. Intimidating the Holy Order. I like the sounds of this. But obviously, Alistair is a man of honor so he doesn't like this but i've got the key we we got results if alistair likes it morrigan won't you can't please both of them can you they're like so opposite in their views can i give a retroactive choice or does that fall under spoilers you may tell me seeing as i've already done it and like i'm literally going now to the cage to free him go for it i feel like there should have been some way for me to steal the cage key but then still that's stealing and that's still immoral, so yeah. There must have been somebody else that I could have uh, convinced. Right. There must have been somebody else that I didn't know about. Hi, Eric. Just don't chalk up to up to pious prior, prior, prior premonitions, exactly. Have she does not approve of me anyway now. Eyes linger, Alistair. Yes, well don't worry. It's not what you think. Ooh. I see. I was looking at your nose. And what is it about my nose that captivates you so? I was just thinking that it looks exactly like your mother's. I hate you yes! so much. Hmm? What? Never mind. This is just in the middle of them arguing. Just some elven dubstep to back the argument here. Guys, thank you so much for gifting me the soul of Eric. Eric is a brand new wisp as well. I'm sorry, Eric, but Cass has taken your soul and given it to me. In return, though, you get to be immortal for 30 days, and you're now all these beautiful wisp creatures. This is the uh, the pure essence of your soul, if you were wondering. Come and join our Discord. We have a sub-only Discord. You can link up your Discord and your Twitch accounts, and it should give you an automatic invite, and we'd love to see you on there. Also, very important question. What's your favorite color? And I will cast you as one of these wisps on screen. We have every rainbow color and then also black and white and gray. Thank you so much, Cass. Can we get some love up in chat for Cass? That was super generous. 
And thank you for welcoming someone new to the community as well. We also have a new follower joining us. Gilla, thanks for following. Well, I guess now we just let him free. It's cool though that your group members in the game are so different. You can see things from opposing perspectives and have more options. And I love the little conversations that they have between each other. You wish something more of me. I am going to free you. I have the key to open your cage. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. Yeah, me neither. But hey, uh, she agreed to release you into my custody. I'm gonna lie. One would think she would send a document or an agent of her chantry. But perhaps not all humans act in such a fashion. So be it. it. Set me free. He's and a very I will chunky boy. I think he'd be a good light. tank for us. He'd be a good, good tank. Uh, I'll let you out. How can you help us exactly? What kind of a person are you? I have spent my life in the vanguard. I know war. And your lands need all the help they can get. Music right now. Very well. I'll let you out. And so it is done. I will follow you this into the battle. Right decision. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. Looks like he wants to eat someone. I mean, he murdered like 10 people and some children, so... Yeah. I think he just doesn't want to eat everyone. I don't know if his people do actually eat humans. They might. They might roast humans. I probably shouldn't be helping him. And what if I don't lead you to your atonement? And if you annoy me and I decide to kill you? Thank you, Sten. Glad to have you with us. I mean, he's a murderer. I'm not going to say I'm glad. Well, atonement. And Yay. I will find it myself. Very good. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. <laughs> he's in our party now. Oh, he's a warrior. I think he's probably going to be a bit more tanky than our tank that we've yes. got now. But I, I don't want to lose Alistair. I just want to check out what Sten is like, like his character and everything. Sten! He's got no armor on him at the moment. Uh, can you look at my skills and talents for Sten? Okay, so he's a, he's a warrior as well. Uh, okay, so he's he's two-handed damage dealer, it looks like. So he's, he's going to be the one with the great big great sword doing some good old whacking damage. Okay... I don't feel like I need Stan at the moment. I want to put him away, but there may be a time when we have need of you, Stan. Have a nice retirement. Vashadan. Yes. Vashadan. To you too. Oh, blast. Yes. Yes. Vashadan. Vashadan. Yes. I don't even know what that means. It's probably an insult. Stan has the sexy voice. He does indeed. He does indeed. Stan, you like Stan. See, maybe he's not a horrible mass murderer after all. I think he's got some deep backstory. When I played this guy, didn't seem all that keen on getting out, so I left him there. Yeah, like he's not like, I'm innocent, please. Help me, help me be free. He knows he isn't innocent and that he deserves his fate. Which I found odd. Okay, so yeah, we've we've got pretty much nothing left in our quest log now. I don't know if there's anything else that we can do in this village. Just gonna check for any like last side quests and things that might be around. It means crap, really. <laughs> I was gonna say I thought it was some kind of curse word. I love how when you remove somebody from the party, every time they're like, oh, damn it, curse it. They don't like being removed. And Eileen spoke unto the masses. Eileen! My hearth is yours. My bread is yours. Praise my be life to Saint Eileen. For all who walk in the sight of Eileen the maker are one. Eileen is a great name for a saint. Kind of reminds me of a grandma. Greetings. Who are you exactly? Greetings. <laughs> I think I'm going <laughs> to smile, smile back. Let all repeat the chant of light. Oh, no. Only the word dispels the darkness shh, upon us. Shh, shh. He can't answer you. He's Chanter Devons. What's a Chanter? One of them that can only say the Chant of Light. Oh. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof once, and the Charter paid him, he did. A really? A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the Maker. So if I wanted to thatch a roof, I talk to him? 
It's a vow of silence then, he can't talk normally. Unless it's the chant of light. No. Oh my god. And so Rajmael in the heathen temple. That must get recanted. really annoying. Speak only the word. Sing only the chant. Then the golden city is thine, spoke Andraste. Yes. The maker is a righteous ass. Anything to say to that? I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted. Alistair isn't going to like me for this, but I'm doing it. The maker is a righteous ass. What do you say to that? Sometimes we throw pebbles at him. Doesn't work <laughs> either. The chanter says, what? 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 Oh, you got him to speak. <gasps> ha. What hath man's sin wrought? Oh, Why? he cheated. Have anything of interest on your board? Blessed are the peacekeepers. There's Champions nothing there the at the just. moment. Oh dear. Wow. My grandma was literally called Eileen. I know. It's it's the name of that generation. Ah, Liliana. Yes, she's joined my party now, but she's not my main party. Because she kind of does the same thing as my main does, so I've kept her out for now. Keep insulting the maker. What's the worst thing that could happen? Yeah, I better hope well, that, like, right. the gods aren't, like, an actual physical presence in this world. Because in some fantasy universes, like, the gods actually come down and they're like, Hey, you messed shit up. We we have some talking to do. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of hoping it isn't that kind of fantasy universe. Otherwise, I might be in trouble. But I think I'm going to go in here just to check if there's any quests that I missed. But I think that's it. I don't know whether I just leave or if there's something I have to follow up on. Yeah, keep insulting the maker. Why not? Why not? Hail insult as well. Your garments are of the most exquisite design. Why, thank you. It's very hot here in the Elven Forest. I've had to dig out my summer garments now. We're in like full summer mode. It's officially summer. It's too hot. I wish my stream room was a fridge. Genuinely. I wish it was like a, a deep freeze storage room. That would be really nice right about now. Soon a magical thinker will show up and crush your character to the ground. I'll believe it when I see it. I don't think there's any more quests, otherwise they'd be uh, talking to me Greetings, right now. Greetings, Grey Warden. What can I do for you? I should go. Travel safely. I have nothing to say to you. Watch over you. Not very uninteresting, sorry. Let's see if the, uh, the Great Mother has anything. Ah, huh. did I not open this in this safe? Well, all right. Oh, I've got an iron ring. Well, all right. My character's voice is so soothing. Did I not tell you to leave? Get out before I have the Templars remove you. I only stole the key from you. It's not a big Do. deal. And may the Maker teach you. The Maker is ways. true. Do not take her lightly. I'll behave myself. Game just froze. Aren't you one of the good guys? Yes, I'm a good guy, but with sass. Just like extra salty added sass is what, what I like to play as. But sometimes the sass options are the evil options and I don't realize. So yeah, we have fun with that. More like the um maker because you know, people are jerks. I mean, humans are, that's very true. I don't think the game gets sass exactly. I mean, it does our good friend over here sass very well. Good old Morrigan. She's very good with her sass. I don't know if there's any more quests here, love. Why do you always go on about how stupid I am? I'm not stupid. They always have a I? conversation every time they go over the bridge. To ask the question. Because it hurts my manly feelings, you know. <laughs> or one of them. Then I'll be sure to write you an apology once all of this is over. Mm -hmm. I was educated by the Chantry. I studied history. They don't make stupid Templars. Then really? I must have been mistaken. I'm very impressed. No, you're not. You're not even listening to me. My, you are smarter than you look after all. Your Chantry must have been very proud. Can you two just bang already, please? Get on with it. I'll get you a room at the inn. There's clearly some sexual tension going on here. 
I'd rather we all just get it out of our systems. Please. Morgan's voice is so amazing. I love it. It's just so smooth and... I don't know, it's just like, you know, doesn't care about anything. She's gonna say what she's gonna say. So, yeah. I, I will allow people to tell me now, is there anything else left to do here? Or are we at the point where we just walk through the gate and move on? Because I'm happy to move on if that's what we're supposed to do. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hi, Andre. Welcome. This game is awesome. The memories. See, for me, this is my first time playing it. So I'm like, oh, this is new and exciting. And I, honestly, a part of me is surprised that I am this into it, even though it's 10 years old. I expected to kind of, you know, be struggling through it and it'd be like, okay, this game's a bit ancient and like I'm having trouble playing it. But it's just such a joy to play still, even after all this time. And I'm glad it's giving you some people in chat some, some good memories. I think you did most of it. I think you're pretty much good. Okay, cool. I should probably, I mean, we should go and buy potions or, you know, make as many health poultice as we can because I think we found out that health poultice is very important. Sell some things to the merchant as well. Add Lilana to your party and talk to the prevered mother. Ah, true. Actually, that's something I didn't think about doing. It's just like adding somebody in just for conversation options. I kind of want to know what would happen. I kind of want to know what would happen. Hey Harbinger, welcome! Yeah, we we specifically say like don't give like tips and hints and you know things that would happen later on in the story just because this game is so good and I want to enjoy it with like blind fresh eyes but if I specifically say you may tell me this that's just me like opening the floodgates um to people's advice and things so for example if we're dying in a fight I'll generally try it like three times and then I'll be like okay guys help me and then all the advice comes in also, I don't mind if there's something that, you know, I, I'm doing that's going to ruin the experience for me. Like earlier, I went through a gate which would have cut off this entire area and chat was like, no, Dawn, don't go through there. That pro progresses the story and you can't go back again. So I don't mind people telling me that kind of thing. The lore, the character interactions, the text, the history. This is one of the best RPGs out there. To be honest, I only put Witcher 3 over it. I both good RPGs. Witcher 3 was another one in our poll because we had a charity poll last month for what our next playthrough should be. And uh, yeah, Witcher 3, Skyrim, Dragon Age, Mass Effect. I've never played a Dragon Age or a Mass Effect game, so I'm, I'm kind of glad this one because I needed to experience it. Did you talk to the guy next to the fireplace? That can be important later. Oh, Blackstone Liaison. As I live and breathe, you the Grey Warden everyone's been talking about. Indeed. Is there something I can do for you? I represent the Blackstone Irregulars. We're a mercenary company that fell on hard times after the war with Orle. I'm sure you know that times are getting worse every day. Oh dear. With your help, the Irregulars could be of use to Ferelden once The Irregulars? It's an odd name. How can I be of service? Why should I help you? It's probably a good question to ask before. The Blackstone Irregulars fought alongside the King's army against Orle. Oh. We've helped nobles defend their land and given our service to people in need for generations. Seem like good guys, Our then. current captain, Railnor, is an honourable man who sees that we can do some good in Ferelden once more. Hmm. He is so confident in our mission Maybe that he, he should trusted be king. the Grey Wardens would support us. He should be king. How can I be of service? Our leaders thought you might be willing to help. Each of our posts in Ferelden will contain letters addressed to you. Unlike most who work with us, you're getting letters straight from Railnor and Taurat, our oh. leaders. I hope this tells you how highly the Irregulars regard the Grey Wars. We are allies indeed. I'll take a look. Thank you. When you've completed a mission, just return to me or any of our members stationed at an Irregulars post. We'll make sure your efforts are rewarded. Make us blessings light your so path. So more side quest options. Oh, oh. Letter from the Blackstone Irregulars. I wonder if it has its own, like, section, letters. Quest related? Rigby's last will and testament. Something about ashes. Letter from the regulars. A letter written in careful script addressed to you. To the inimitable. I can never say that word. Inimitable. In inimitable Grey Warden. We made it. Your deeds have spread since the tragedy of Ostagar, and I find myself in need of one such as you. I am Railnor, captain of the venerable Blackstone Irregulars, and I hope to win your trust. The Irregulars have come on hard times since the war with Orlais, and I have fought to improve their reputation. 
Gone are the days of my father's shady deals with unscrupulous nobles in Denerim. No, I have trained a guild filled with honourable men, ready to fight for Ferelden, and I am proud to say that I have seen your own Grey Wardens as a sort of model. We are not perfect. My own son advocates a move back to the more lucrative way my father ran the guild, but we are steadfast. It is in this context that I ask for your help, and I promise that we will reward you accordingly. Should you be willing, please find these letters in this box, and others like it all over the land, and carry out the request therein. This matter, consider requests from my son as if they came from myself. And thank you again from the bottom of my heart. Whether you choose to assist us or not, you are doing the Maker's work, Warden, and I am honoured to work with you. Love from Railnor. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Well, there we go. More opportunities for side quests in other places. Zero! Zero is back once again. How's another month passed already? I forgot I was a robot. <clears throat> that was awkward. Zero stick! Zero, welcome back. Thank you for 13 months of immortality. And not just that, at a glorious tier three level. Welcome back. Good to have your soul again. Thank you so much, Zero. Zero says, I don't always lick turtles, but when I do, it's with this in mind. Every human should aim to lick a turtle at least once a week for the variety of health benefits it provides. Welcome back, Zero. Do let me know what color you'd like to support and I will cast you as a great big tenderly tier three on screen. I do really appreciate that tier three. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your top tier remote. Your wish queen for many, many millennia to come. We've got Cass as well, gifting another soul. And this one is going to Linsoul. Thank you for seeing that Linsoul's soul had returned to their body and making sure it comes back into my very loving possession. Welcome back, Linsoul. Three months, three months. Welcome back. And a beautiful wisp returns next to your Twitch name badge once again. Cass, you are too kind. Can we get some serious love up in chat for Cass? who has gifted a few souls already this stream and welcomed back some very familiar wisps. Welcome back, Lynn. So Zero and Lynn, you may request your soul colors and I will do my best to cast you. Hi, Dalish, welcome on in. Your name is so appropriate, so appropriate for the stream. I'm gonna cast Zero as a great big tendry blue wisp. You and Bocci are gonna be great friends up there. Both great big tendry tier three wispies. Zero. Oh, 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 oh. I nearly lost your soul then, but it's okay. I remember where I put it. It, it was in a soul jar really near the back, okay? It's dusty back there. Zero, welcome back. I'm gonna pop you just up there. Good to have your soul once again. And then we've also got, dun, 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 what are we gonna go for? Lynn, what is your color team of choice? I see blue wisps there. I see, I see some blue wisps being spammed. But let me know what team you'd like to be. Don't let the others influence you. They'll try and convince you their colour team is best. Go for what truly is in your heart. The soul is, I mean, the wisp is a true expression of your soul, so it needs to come from you. So you chose it, the best. I nearly, I nearly went with, um, you know, forest elf origin, but chat said city elf origin was really, really good. So I thought I'd go for it. I thought I'd go for it and see what happened. And I liked it because it really showed the tension between the elves and the humans. Arlen, I want to sell some stuff. Before I go off on new adventures, I think I need to get rid of my old crap that I am. Oh my God, what have I got here? Quinari thickened cap. I mean, first of all, I'm going to check that it's not good for anybody in my party. Oh. Oh God, now we all look stupid in our helmets. Look at us, what a bright crew we are. Can I hide helmets? We all look so stupid. I mean, particularly Morrigan, particularly Morrigan. I think if this was like a silly helmet competition, she wins. I probably get second place in the silly helmet competition. Hey. A juicy warm green, green the color of forest and fresh green grass. Linsel, joining the little green corner that we have going. Let me cast to you. Welcome back. Oh, 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 there we go. And here is your soul. Cass will be proud. And there we are.
I believe you can, but I can't quite remember. Uh, I think Hide Helmets was first introduced in Dragon Age 2, but don't quote me on that. I'm gonna look stupid forever. It's cool. It's a fashion choice. I'll stick by it. I'm, I'm fine with this. <laughs> okay, so Nien is all okay, equipment-wise. Oh, did I find a bow that was better? I forget. No, that's my old bow. Morrigan. Doing pretty well. That was her old staff. So I think she's doing better with that one. Studded leather boots? Does she even have any boots on? She does not have shoes on, apparently. Despite appearances, apparently she does not have any shoes on. So I'm going to give her some leather boots. She will enjoy them greatly, I'm sure. Orcspawn. Oh, I can put a different colour on him. Can I also give him a head item so he can wear a ridiculous hat too? Maybe later on. He can look just as silly as we do. Well, I still don't have food to sell. I can never bring myself to put a helmet on Alistair. I want to see his cute face. Me too, really. He's a sweetie. I think despite his, you know, bluster and all his witty comments, I, I think he's a sweetie deep down. I like him. Might be a mod, I can't remember. Ah. Uh, Dragon Age 2. Mm, you should jump up in the series. Oh, Kingdom Come is amazing as well. Kingdom Come is amazing. I didn't get like massively far through that. Unfortunately, back when it released, we did play it for a while, but it wasn't very well optimized and it would just crash all the time. I think they've probably fixed it now, um, but it did have a problem with crashes at the start. So it was almost like playing an ancient RPG where I had to keep quick saving all the time, all the time, all the time in case something happened because it was pretty much constant crashes. Um, I think I don't know if it was a problem with specifically my graphics card back then, but yeah, it was not happy with me. I would like to go back in and play that again. There's also a new DLC, which I think is called A Woman's Lot, and you see it from uh, the perspective of one of the women in the game, which I think is going to be cool. Splint mail. I guess I just sell these. Splint mail boots. Scale boots. Splint mail gloves. I feel like this will be good later. So I'm going to keep that for now. Don't need those shields. Selling everything I can. Oh my god. So much rubbish here as well. What can I do with emeralds? Like, should I just sell them? I don't know. I don't know if there's jewel crafting or anything. Maybe we should hold on to them. My inventory is not massively full anyway. Divinity Original Sin 2 has a really cool take on elves and fantasy. Yes, Dalish. Um, we did for a while every week on Fridays. I do Divine Fridays where I played co-op with another streamer friend of mine and we were working through Divinity Original Sin. It's freaking incredible. I, I love how good the co-op is in that game because it's really hard to do good RPG co-op because obviously when you go and talk to characters, everybody needs to know like the context of what's going on in the quest and stuff. And I love the whole listening mechanic they have. Um, combat is amazing. Normally, honestly, in RPGs, normally for me, I'm not an incredibly like tactical person. I don't really enjoy the tactic side of it that much. I love the story. And for me, normally it's the combat getting in the way of the story and I'm just getting through the combat to get more story is like, it just feels like something I have to get through. But with Divinity, I really looked forward to fighting and like using all these different magical combinations. I played basically a pyro mage and I would set everything on fire, fire and poison. We both played undead and we were just poisoning everything. It was amazing. And hopefully we can get back to it soon. We've had a bit of a break on it because Ophelia was moving house but hopefully we'll be back to Divinity soon. If you want to see me playing Divinity, by the way, there's an entire series over on YouTube. Um, I, I didn't finish editing all of them because each episode was taken from a whole stream that was about six hours long. So I think there's something like nine or 10 episodes up on there, but that shows our whole like journey through Divinity. Um, they're quick catch up episodes, so they're only about 10, 15 minutes long each. But if you want to see us playing Divinity, that's over on my YouTube as well. But yeah, such a good game. If you are interested, there should be a quest in the chest near the Blackstone Regulus guy that might be important. Oh, okay. It wasn't sparkling in the same way that boxes you can loot are sparkling. I think it might be because it's near the fire, so obviously the fire particle effects are going off, so... Ah! Huh! 
My friend, there are a number of people who pledge to aid the Black Blackstone irregulars, irregulars in times of need. Those times are now. Here you will find three letters of conscription. Deliver them to the people listed below and return to the irregulars for your payment. Should any of these people refuse, do what you must to get them to honour their oaths. Dernal Garrison, Redcliffe. Pater Gritch, Lothering. Varel Bairn, Denerim. Okay, so I can take that as we go and find other people and other cities. My friend, the Irregulars require a trusted agent to track down and deal with deserters. Do this and you will be rewarded. These deserters took with them valuable supplies crucial to the Irregulars' future as a supplier of martial services. Deal with these waste of spaces as you see fit and bring the supplies back as proof that the problem has been dealt with. You will ask no questions as to your methods on the final condition of the deserters. Use your own discretion. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's anyone here, but I'll take that one as well. Okay. I don't know who I'm looking for. What was the name again? Because uh, there'll be someone here. Black Stain Irregulars. Scrape in the barrel. Peter... Peter... Pater... Pater Gritch. What a name. Pater Gritch. See if I can find someone by this name. Any Pater Gritches in here? It'll be too easy if the person I was looking for was in the inn next to the quest. Yeah, it's, it's really good, Divinity. I recommend it. Especially if you have a friend you can play through with. Oh, hello. You desire? As you'd wish. I have yet to play Divinity, but I've always hyped good of it. And the studio that's born it, which makes me hype for Baldur's Gate 3. I think of all the companies that could have made a Baldur's Gate game, they were the right ones to choose. They, they know how to do RPGs like that and do them well. And in a modern way as well, I feel like a lot of companies make really good RPGs, but they're kind of like slightly stuck in the past and not as approachable to people who've never played RPGs. So it's nice to see them the doing it. And I am really looking forward to Final Fantasy 3. It's going to be good. Probably it's going to be good. I know it will. I don't want to overhype the game, but I feel like it's going to be really good. Okay. Hopefully. We hope. Alison. Can I ask the villagers if they know? More soldiers make it out of so much tragedy. Let me just steal from the poor. Who am I looking for again? I'm just looking for anyone who has a name, really. Like, Got a brother that fell as long the as guy. they have a name, they Hopefully might be the guy. It is the guy in Lothring, apparently. Ooh. Pile of filth. Ooh, there's a stone in a pile of filth. See, it's always worth dredging through the piles of filth. You never know what you might find. Steal from the poor. Exactly. There's still some children as well are at it. You know, we might as well. We've gone that much evil in this playthrough. Thanks for the poultices. I thought the Miriam might know times. where this man would be, but apparently not. Apparently not. I have trouble staying interested in Divinity playing alone. It's definitely a very different experience when you're playing with somebody else. And I think maybe just because there's so much content in Divinity, I might have found it hard to keep playing, which seems a weird thing to complain about. But like, there's so many side quests. There's so much to do. That sometimes it feels really overwhelming. But when you're with another person, you're like, okay, you let's ate do this. my entire bag of herbs, you foolish dog. Do not think I am <laughs> unaware of where it went. No. <laughs> Is your own fault for being so entirely gluttonous? Several of those herbs were poisonous. You should be pleased they did not kill you. Or <laughs> do not be ridiculous. I am certainly not going to give you more, even if I did have more to give. No. Oh, you have some nerve, creature. And your breath leaves much to be desired. Off you go. I think she secretly loves him. We shall see. I promise nothing. She secretly loves Doggo. You do not truly think I look as my mother does, do you? Have you really been thinking about that all this time? <laughs> I am simply curious. And not insecure in the slightest, I'm sure. I think I look nothing like her. I don't know. Give it a few hundred years and it'll be a spot-on match. Wow. I said that I look nothing like her. All right, got it. <laughs> totally different. Insulting her I mother. See that now. Smooth moves there, Alistair. Smooth moves. Respect to you, man. I think she had an absolute whale of a time doing voice acting for that. I'm so jealous. I'm just, I'd love to play a character like that. 
I'd love to play a character like that. I feel like there's some generic roles when it comes to RPGs, but then you just get a character like that and it's just so, so different and uh, so sassy. Oh, I don't know what I'm looking for. I just need to find the person with this name. Patter Grinch. Patter Grinch in Lothering. Anyone seen a Patter Grinch? No one will talk to me, so... I guess I can go and look in, um... In the Chantry building? There might be people in there. Chantry? See, it's brushing up on me. I keep saying Chantry instead of Chantry. Yeah, Keenan Come is beautiful as well. I think what first attracted me to it is I just, I saw some footage of uh, you riding through on a horse in a meadow in first person. And it's just, that game is stunning. It's just stunning. And it's done in a very like realistic way as well. Um, Oi, what? We kinda go to the Chantry? Or grab some fags from the Chantry? Yeah. It's definitely, definitely my normal accent. I, I end stream and then suddenly I'm just like, Oh, well, thank God that's over. Bloody hell. I hate the internet. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's how I am off stream. Just, you know, dropping all the teas all over the place. For the love of God, give her a better hat. I have nothing to offer the poor lady. I have nothing to offer her. It's the best hat I have. She can either have that or she can have like a literal, we've got like a pointy gnome hat thing. So I thought this was the better option. All right, now I need to bribe her to do that voice all the time now. Oh, now, really now. <laughs> Can't. Cheers, love, the cavalry's here. I could do this voice because it really annoys people and it brings them out of the shadows. And then uh, everyone who's playing Overwatch and lurking in the background is like, oh, fuck you. I hate Tracer. But really, she's quite a sprightly lady. Isn't there an option to hide helmets? We're talking about this harbinger and I, I don't think there is in this one. People said Dragon Age 2, maybe it starts to come in, but I don't think there is in this one. I'd be happy if there is. What was I gonna do? I'm looking for Scroogey Muge Face Gritch. Patter Gritch. Has anyone seen a Patter Gritch? Patter Gritch, you're a farmer, you know things. Are you here to see the Reverend Mother too? No, do you know Pat Patter Grinch? She's wonderful, isn't she? No. I came to ask for a blessing. With my family abandoning the farm to flee north, we'll need all the grace the Maker can offer. Well, good luck to you. I need to get underway. If I'm lucky, I'll make it back to the farm hold by nightfall. All right then. Have a nice life. Don't expect I'll be seeing you again. Auto save. Yeah, I'm not seeing a Pat a Grinch. If you see Pat a Grinch, yell in chat. I don't even know if it's a man or a woman. I feel like it might be a man. Patter. Patter, even a name. I thought it might be Parter as in like father, as in like a member of the Holy Order, but well, I don't think so. Right. Uh, Patter Grinch, Patter Grinch, Patter Grinch, Patter Grinch. I can do tab. Patter Grinch! There you are! So if you hold tab, it shows you all the objects you can loot, and then also everybody that's interactable. You must be Patter Grinch. Yes? Yes. What can I do for you? Well, I have a letter for you from the Blackstone Irregulars. I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my sister. Sure, sign the paper, she said. You'll enjoy some coin now, but they'll be back. Oh dear. I guess I'll see you on the front lines. You have been conscripted. Oh, well, I got, I got one of them. There's a few of the others in different cities, though, that we should go and find. Yeah, the, the tab key just shows everything, so... Sometimes I just go around holding tab. I forgot that it showed names, actually. But I tried it for good measure. Yeah, you just type it. So it's Wisp and then whatever the, uh, the emote is. We have a couple of combo emotes as well, Tangent. You can uh, put together. Sign the paper, they said. It'll be fun, they said. You won't be forced to fight in any wars, they said. Now I'm bloody conscripted in the army, aren't I? Kissing me pants on the front lines. Shocking behaviour. There you go. I don't know if I'm the good guy for conscripting him or not, but I guess he did agree to it, so. It's his own fault, really. His own fault, really. 
Seville's voice actress from Divinity 2 worked on Dragon Age 4 as the main female voice. Ah, I actually listened to a talk by her. I went to a, a games convention called EGX. They had a talk about voice acting and they had some of the Divinity voice actors. Um, so a guy who voices basically every NPC in the game, but you would have no idea. And her, and she actually does like the voice of the chicken in the Divinity as well. She does a few of the animal voices and she has such a versatile voice. But yeah, she she does a great like sultry kind of like smoky voice, which is very good for Seville's character. If I remember correctly, Ferelden is is loosely based on England. Is it though, mate? I mean, everyone talks here correctly. I mean, it does kind of you know obviously it looks like Middle Ages England, so they've done quite well. Praise be to the mighty Tabki. He's the true maker. Worship not the false unnamed one. Exactly. Look now, I can see who is who is an actual person and who is just refugee or minor or uh, distressed citizen. It's very useful. What? Smoked chicken? No, there's actually like a character in Divinity that is like the mother hen and she's like, Papa, please help me. Oh, oh, my children, they're missing. And and there's this whole quest line where you look for a, a missing chick. I'm not going to spoil it because honestly, it's one of the best quests in Divinity. But do it. If, you, if you're ever in Divinity and you come across these chickens, go find the chick. Go find the chick. Trust me. Hi, Skulls. Welcome. Hello, Mr. Loot Pinata. Exactly. Now everybody has a name. You need to do the chicken lady voice more often. Ah! My children, they're missing. Oh no. Oh dear, oh dear. My poor little ones out there on their own. I just, um, you know, to get the perfect voice for that, you just have to think of the, uh, the, what's her name? Miss, Miss, Mrs. Potts from Beauty and the Beast. It's, it's pretty much the chicken voice. There we go. I think we have cleared out everything that we have to do in Lothering. So, I think that's a very good point to leave our adventures for tonight. Quick save coming in there, of course, we have learnt the value of the save button today. But thank you so much, Hune, for coming along on my adventures again today. Of course, it will be uploaded as a highlight on Twitch. The past two episodes of me playing this are now highlights as well, so you can catch up on the whole story so far in case you missed it. And for those of you who are new, I post my schedule on Twitter usually every week and you can see what days I'm playing Dragon Age in case you don't want to miss it. But thank you for joining us and welcome to all our new wispies. It's good to have you. I'm gonna go and soak in ice cubes, I think. It's far too hot in here. I would much prefer it to be, you know, a, a moody winter's day and be beside a warm hearth fire, just like in games.